Hello everyone watching on YouTube, my name is Cast in the Sky, and this is Monster Sanctuary. The demo of it, at least. This is a game that is on Kickstarter. It's already been funded, but they're trying to hit some stretch goals right now to add more content to the game. And it looks very, very fun. It is a uh, cross between a Metroidvania and a monster, like, capture collecting thing, you know, like, similar to Pokemon and Digimon and whatnot. And, I, man, it just, I got an email about it, someone asked me to check it out, and it looks great. So we're gonna get into it today and see how it goes. I am streaming this on Twitch, so I got Twitch chat here with me. It's gonna be a fun ride, so let's, uh, let's new gaming it into this. So many save slots, my word. Alright, well, we're going with the center save slot. Name your character. Alright, I'm just gonna go with Chaos, then. Thank goodness it's not like Pokemon, where I just capitalize every word by mistake. Also, thank goodness this game, like, supports controller, and I had the game open and plugged in my controller and it could work. There are too many games where I have to, like, exit out the game, then plug in my controller, then turn on the game. Who uses the center slave slot first? Who's a- dude, what other games have you seen that have save slots set up in, like, a tic-tac-toe formation? I've never seen this before in my life. I didn't know what else to do. Name Chaos? That's me, yep. Monster Sanctuary is land far away from any other human civilization. Do I have to press- no, it's gonna go naturally. While wild monsters are dangerous to humans, monsters raised by them grow loyal to their owners. Slimes have the faces of sadistic murderers? Yeah, they do. Most of the people of Monster Sanctuary live in the Keeper's Stronghold. This is making me want to play Terraria again. Many of them learn to raise and train monsters. Nothing else to do, I guess. They don't have internet. They call themselves Monster Keepers. Very intuitive name. Choose the familiar of your bloodline. Alright, so we get to- this is basically like our starter Pokemon, if you want to put it in Pokemon terms. So, uh, Twitch chat. What should I choose? We got the Spectral Wolf, Spectral Eagle, Spectral Toad, Spectral Lion. I'm kind of leaning towards Lion myself. Wolf is also cool, but I bet that's what most people pick. Michael has just said bird in all, all caps. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought this looked like Terraria. What do you mean when you say fire? When you say fire, like the eagle and the lion are both fire. No wolf, bird. Ah, toad, now we're talking. I shouldn't have asked chat to tell me when like two of the people in chat have wolf in their name. Wolf is like such the obvious one though. I am kind of tempted towards bird. I was thinking lion myself, but no one is saying lion. Never mind. there's a lion from Christmas Narrow. Wolf equals garbage, wow. And now I got two people saying Toad. Chat, why do you always have to be so divided? Oh, my man Eric said bird. We're, we're going bird. We're going bird. Spectral Eagle it is. It was like three bird, three wolf. And I want to go with something a little more, uh, probably not the commonly picked one. Get the road from the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh no, I'm supposed to be reading. Each of those bloodlines is added by a spectral familiar. I was too busy reading chat. Those familiars are ageless protectors of their family, passed on from one keeper to the next. Michael, don't put that in my chat. Chaos is a young and aspiring monster keeper, and this is just the beginning of his path to becoming a monster keeper. As with all starting monster keepers, his journey begins on the keeper's trail. Alright, seems easy enough. We might have enough time today to play the demo twice, so if we play the demo again, I'll probably pick the wolf or maybe the toad. Alright, name your familiar- Oh no, I have to name these things! Oh, oh no, chat. You're supposed to read chat, not to read the game script? No, I read the game script, and then I get a break and I read chat. Michael convinced me to get the bird with his emotes. It had to be done. What if the chat is the game script? Michael, I'm not naming it birdie. Like, come on, man. Name it Bird. Alright, well, you know what? I'm glad to see that my chat is as creative as I am. Small yellow bird thing. You guys, 
I worry about you guys sometimes. Oh my goodness, Lone Wolf. 500 Eagle was the only correct choice because America. Yes, exactly. Now we're talking. Thank you for the 500 bits, Lone Wolf. I appreciate it. Chaos, if your monster ever betray betrays you, remember you have a gun, knife, and a persona to crush it? Yeah. Nicknames is Shroom's job, Chaos. Come on. I'm so mad at Shroom. I went back to Pokemon Coliseum and my Metachain was named Dr. Pig. It made me upset. All right, everyone in chat is as bad at names as I am. Antelos. I don't know what that means, but it's better than everyone else just saying to name it Bird. And I just want to keep playing. So we're going to name it Antelos, whatever that means. Name it Medic Ham. No. Absolutely not. Monsters are wild things. The only reason I'm helping you is the bond I share with your family. All right, fair enough. Most monsters are less inclined than me to help you. Also, my bird can talk. That is why you must always raise your own monsters. They will grow alongside you just as I will, and they will fight for you. The best way to gain a monster's loyalty is to hatch it from its egg. Of course, you will have to fight to get those monster eggs. Look at that blob over there. It's so adorable. Name it the word. <laughs> Initiate a fight by contact. We shall see if you will live up to your ancestors. All right, let's go, bird. Dude, I got a pretty high jump here. I like it. Oh, what the heck? The bird... Dude. I got a little bit of a glide with the bird power. All right, let's go. All right, I love the going into combat sequence. That's pretty good. Just start combat. Okay, all right. So I got a... One times 200% physical damage. Three times 50% magical damage. Six times 25%, 150% physical damage. Okay, okay. Well, I mean, I gotta see what Featherstorm looks like, right? He's weak to fire resist water. Okay, so we're gonna use explosion then. Oh, it shows me how much health he's gonna lose. All right, lightning bolt. That's not, is that fire or is that something else? I can't tell. Always explosions. All right, let's go. Explosions then. All right, that's pretty sick. I like that. Oh no, it's the slime's turn. Bubble burst. I've been bubbled. Okay. Let's do Feather Storm then. I want to see what it looks like. Get him. All right, these animations are pretty sick. I like them. We got a crit there. I think they got us the kill. Let's go, boys. Oh, okay. Three stars. All right. Combat duration, two turns. Healthiness, 47%. Overkill damage. Okay. Rare loot chance, 30%. Gold bonus, 120. Oh, this is cool. I like this. The slime nose bubble beam. I got a blob egg, which is rare, and I got two copper, which is common. All right, I like this, uh, this way of showing what you get and all that. Nice and experience gain. There we go. You received a blob egg. Now you need to hatch it. Open the inventory menu and try to hatch it. Will do. Bum, bum, bum. This is a face of a murderer on that slime. Rift, hey, welcome. Glad to see you here, man. What is this game? This game is called Monster Sanctuary. Uh, it's not out right now. This is a demo for it. It's currently on Kickstarter, but it's pretty cool. It annoys me that the enemy is on the left side and you're on the right. I actually think that it was on the left and I was on the right because I came at it from the right side. If I had gone from the left side, I think I would have been on the left. I think it might depend on what angle I come from. We'll test that here in a minute. But all right, what do I, I need to go to inventory? Blob egg. Yes, hatchet. All right, well, that was really easy. Oh, no, I have to name the blob. All right, Chad, here we go again. Why can't I spell? Spelling is hard. That's right. It is. Larry. You know what? You got me immediately. Blobbert is a good follow-up, Michael, but, like, I gotta go with Larry. We gotta be living like Larry. Living like Larry. I have a phoenix here? Oh, this is obviously a play on phoenix down. Small potion and copper. All right. All right, we got Larry now. Living like Larry. That is your first monster you hatch by yourself. Right now it is weak, so you'll need to train it. There's much more for you to learn, too. You and that blob are quite alike. Wow, that's rude. Let's continue on the Keeper's Trail. It will lead us to old Burin, an old friend of mine. He is a patient teacher to all young keepers who seek guidance. I advise you to listen to him very carefully. Don't tell me what to do, bird. Mountain path. Okay, so what if I come at it from this angle? 
Oh, there are two blobs. Yeah, totally. The the angle totally depends on uh, on what side you come from. All right, we got a heal. That's good. Arcane bolt. Bolt this fool. All right, I like that. That's pretty cool. Do I recharge all of my MP between fights or something? All right, we'll get you with this. Nice and lightning bolt. Enemy turn. Heal level two. No, don't heal him. How dare you? That's not okay. All right. Arcane bolt again. I'm going to try and overkill this guy because overkilling will apparently give me more points. All right. Hopefully that gets me a lot of uh, good points for overkill. Oh, he's got a level two arcane bolt. I want my arcane bolt to be level two. Oh, wait a minute. Did you just heal your MP in between turns? That's interesting. All right. Well, I mean, like, Featherstorm this fool. I love that move. That's so cool. Oh, it looks like you recover some of your MP between turns. Yeah. Okay. I understand. There's also more bonus for having more HP, so I want to make sure my HP is good at the end of this fight. Kill him. Easy lightning murder. All right, this is pretty good so far. Only two stars. Healthiness was 73%, overkill damage was only 19%, combat duration was four turns. I imagine the quicker you finish fights, the better for you. You have plenty of experience though. Two star boy. Based on the effectiveness of your combat strategy, you get a rating of one to five stars. Earning a higher rating increases your chances of getting better drops like rare monster eggs. All right, seems fair. Let's get platforming, boys. It's exactly what I always wanted out of Pokemon. More platforming. Young Keeper, it is the Keeper's Trail beginning for all of Man Beast and Sanctuary has beginning. All right, fancy words. Dude, I love that you can use the eagle to like glide. Only two stars, just 48 more to go and you'll have your own baby Murica. Nice. Magma Pillar. All right, well this thing is weak to fire. So let's, uh, let's weaken it up with Arcane Bolt, and then we're going to explode on it. Explosion! You lived. How very dare you, good sir. Barrier? That's not okay. You're not allowed to do that. All right, that hurt. I'm going to try and keep health high. And then I'm going to get some overkill on this fool right here. Easy murder. I love how they just pixelate away. What's the other game that does that where they just like pixelate away when they die? I've been burned! My physical attack stat! No! Oh, it does that in Undertale. We're going to explode on it. Yeah, Michael, Undertale. That's what I was thinking of. You know, Undertale, it's a small indie game. I don't think you would have heard of it. All right, this guy is super dead. Goodbye. We've done it, boys. All right, how'd I do that time? All right, I got three stars that time. We're getting better. I had a 30% chance for a rare loot. Didn't get it. Rip. You should play Deltarune. I'm not going to play Deltarune. And every time you bring it up, I'm just going to ignore it even more. A chest. A cestus. Okay. Wait, what is a cestus? Equipment? Was that what that was? Can I equip these guys with things? Yo. Wooden stick. Yo, take the cesta. Dude! You actually get to equip them with weapons and stuff. Play Delta Room when it actually comes out in like two or three years. If it actually comes out in like two or three years. Alright, that's sick. So you actually get to equip these guys with actual weapons. They all start with a wooden stick. I love it. What are skills? Dude, they have actual skill trees! What? What is this madness? I have no skill points though. I gotta get level ups. What is it? Does WIP stand for work in progress? Demo doesn't have anything past level, past level 10. Dude, this looks amazing. I can even unlock another move entirely. Applies might buff to whole team. Yo, this is exactly the kind of thing that like new monster, uh, monster taming games need is stuff like skill trees. That is amazing. I love it. All right. 
Let's continue on. Ooh, hello, person. Hey, friend, you were just starting as a monster keeper, right? Did you find some equipment for your monster already? You can make your monster stronger by equipping them. Good to know. A kunai. All right, I'm going to make this slime into a ninja. Behold my mighty ninja slime. They do. I just saw he had a stat mana regen. Okay, that's cool. Hey, fellow keeper. Did you know that every single one of your monsters possesses a special ability? Some can be used to get rid of certain obstacles. Also, you might encounter some destructible walls like the one behind me. Go ahead and try and hit it with some of your monster's abilities. Oh, okay. Slime, hit this. What the heck? Those are the strongest bubbles I have ever seen. That is an accessory. I'm going to equip that to the slime because he found it. He deserves it. All right, this is sick. Each monster has its own unique ability that can be used in the overworld Metroidvania stuff. That's so good. You see a random buff at the start of combat. Ooh. That seems really good. So Antelos gets that one because he got me here. You should make Deltarune a word that isn't allowed, like jump bluff. I don't think that'll be necessary. Dude, bird! All right, let's go, other bird. I'll show you what a real bird looks like. All right. Let's uh kill the slime as fast as we can. You are weak to wind attacks, so feather storm. Beautiful damage, love it. Power, what is power? You're just gonna make yourself stronger. Oh, okay, I see. Not the bubble burst, not again. I did a lot. I don't like how much that did. All right, do some damage to him. Get working on his HP. I wanna try and win this in three turns while trying to keep my health pretty high. And I'm gonna hit you for overkill as much as I can. That should be some decent overkill right there. What are you doing? Feather storm, oh no. All right, didn't do too much. Heal up, my boy. And then uh, my only option is Lightning Bolt, which you resist, unfortunately, but I have no other choice. Still did some damage. That's fine. Beating? That's incredibly rude of you. All right, we should have you this turn. Goodbye. E-Z. We've done it. Three stars, not bad. I gotta figure out how to get to four stars. I need more monster eggs. I gotta get some more monsters. As your monsters gain experience in combat, they will increase in level. This allows them to gain new skills. You should take a look at the skill tree menu. I absolutely will, because I love that this exists. All right, wait a minute. New moves. Slime shot, four times 30%. Magical damage with earth. Applies poison. Okay. Acid rain, applies armor break. So do I want an earth style move or a water style move? My slime normally goes first, so I can go with Acid Rain, like, weaken their... Give them an armor break, and then attack with my bird immediately after. I thought WIP stood for Weebs in Power. You know what, Lone Wolf? I liked it better when you were doing raids. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna unlock that move. And then for Antelos, I don't really want the buffing move. I want to make my attacking moves better. But oh, this just makes it level two, okay. Improve attack rating by one increases the attack by six. That seems pretty sick. Yo, these all seem really good. Do they have a speed stats at all or is it just you than the enemies? I have no idea. If you had to pick an eSport to play, what would it be? Does like speedrunning games count as an eSport? Because I would want to do something that doesn't require me to play against someone. I'm gonna level up Explosion. Let's go, bird. Fly me into the sunset. Man prospered through generations, founded cities and nations, connected by dirt and wheel, and later by steam and steel. All right. Nice little history lesson. Dude, bird, easy. Obtain the bracelet. Regeneration plus seven, that seems sick. Goes to Antelos, my dude. There we go. Is there fall damage in this game? I assume that my actual player character does not have, like, HP at all. Gimme. 100 gold, not bad. I assume we'll find a shop relatively soon. Keep your stronghold to the right, keep your trail to the left. What's down below? Just suffering? Ooh, a chest. Two copper, whatever that does for me. Ah, no! 
Bird, we're so close. I don't think I can make this even with the power of Bird. Yo, I bet the frog familiar, like, gives you a super jump or something that would get us up there. See how useful this bird is? All of you other guys want him to pick something else. Birds. I need more birds. Alright. I guess you can only lead with three, so when it says choose monsters if I have six, I can move some from the back into the front. Okay. I understand. Let's go. Alright. What are you guys weak to again? You resist when you're weak to Earth. Dang it! Should have chosen the Earth move. In that case, Arcane Bolt. Thankfully, I leveled up my explosion so I can explosion this fool. Easy knockout. Dude, I actually roasted that bird. Think you can move monsters to the front as well? Like, which one gets to go first? Yeah, that would make sense. If I could just, again, kill you the way I just did the other one, we're gonna have 100% HP at the end of this. No, you're gonna live, dang it. And also finish in two turns. Instead, we're gonna finish in three. That's unfortunate. I'm going to heal Slime Boy so that he'll be at full. Heal me up. Ariel. And then explode this guy. Got a little bit of overkill, at least. Alright, how do we do? Yo, four stars, let's go. 50% loot chance. It didn't give me the bird egg. No! I need more birds. You don't understand how much this means to me? By the way, I do really like that this game has uh, the enemies in the overworld and you have to touch them to get into combat instead of just uh, random encounters like how it is in Pokemon and Digimon and whatnot. It's a nice change of pace. Man knew of those who wait in the woods and caverns beyond, yet for the treasures within he longed for the greed of kings was great. I don't fully understand what that's talking about, but whatever. Do have a mini map at the top right I've just noticed. Hello. Let's go. You jump higher than you do in Xenoblade X. <laughs> that's gonna be how you encounter Pokemon in Let's Go. Yeah, that's like one of the very few things I'm looking forward to in Let's Go. Weak to water, you say? What a coincidence. Yo, armor break. I don't fully understand what that means, but uh, damage. Lone Wolf, what is wrong with you, man? Yo, I dodged one of those? Sick. Not Leaf Slash. I've been slashed by leaves? Alright, kill you. Goodbye, fool. Got some overkill there. And then explode on this guy, obviously. Oh, the damage. It's so beautiful. I do love this idea of regaining uh, energy. Regaining MP at the end of every turn. It's a little different from the usual. Yeah, just kill him. Goodbye. Yo, he still got four stars. Not bad. But I... Dang it! I got a potato. I don't need a potato. I need another monster egg. I want more monsters. Give me the monster drops, yo. I had a coin flip there and I lost it. Oh, hello. Orb. Okay, it's a really good magic weapon. And then the Morning Star, which is a really good offensive weapon, it looks like. Okay. I think Antelos is uh, mixed, isn't he? He's He uses physical and magic attacks. What does the slime use? What are, what are your attacks? Are they all magic? I think they are. Uh, that's magic, magic. And that's gonna, okay, slime only uses magic, so we give him magic weapon. Sounds good to me. Give him the almighty orb. Yeah, the orb. There we go. Makes him a lot better with magic. Hey, RTK, how's it going, man? And Eagle, what's up? New game? This is uh, the demo for the game Monster Sanctuary, which is on Kickstarter currently. It's already been funded. I turned my back like a fool. It's already been funded, but uh, it's trying to hit some stretch goals right now, and it is a lot of fun so far. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know what this... Oh, buff info with Y. 20 for, uh, words, 25% chance to dodge magical hits. I like it. All right. These guys are not weak to water. Gonna hit you up with this arcane bolt. Weaken this bad boy. Then we're gonna hit him up with some explosions. Boom. I love the explosion move. Not level two arcane bolt. How dare you? 
playing Bloodborne and Horizon Zero right now. Yo, Horizon Zero Dawn is a great game. I'm going to do this to get more overkill points when I kill it with Explosion. To hopefully help my rating out. I would really like another monster egg. Not the bubble burst. I right, got one dodge in there. Not bad, not bad. Heal up my boy. There we are. And then a lightning bolt is my only real option here because I don't want to use fire. What are you going to do, slime boy? No, not arcane bolt again. Oh, he only used level one that time. Okay. You resist that. Use arcane bolt. True blue, what's happening, man? Glad to see you. It's all good. I've only been live for like 20 minutes. Murder! RTK, you've already backed it when you sent the link. I'm going to back it after the stream. I wanted to play the demo before I backed it, but uh, I'm liking it so far, and I look forward to when it comes out, so I'll definitely back it. I want to get the uh, beta access tier, so I'll probably do the, like, $50 one. Man plunged into deepest abyss, foraged, attacked, and slew. These endeavors were without solace. The cost on humanity, humanity nobody knew. All right, well, the game is very good at rhyming. I did not mean to activate my bird power there, and it kind of screwed up my jump. Phoenix Tears. All right, so Phoenix Downs from Final Fantasy. Duly noted. Dude, I, Bird, I think, might actually be easy mode, and I didn't realize it. Impact Ring. All right, what's your, what's your skill point, boy? No, not you. Stop. All right. What do we want to do here? Could level these up. I think I'd rather focus on leveling up attacks than getting the buff move. Nostalgia of classic FF games. Start of combat, apply shield equal to 60% of attack and magic value. That seems really broken. So you know what? Give me that. Learn the hybrid shield. So it looks like the moves, they don't only just give you, like, things that increase the power of the moves or anything like that. They also let you learn, uh, just abilities flat out that help you. Okay. I like it. Good old bird power. Nothing can stop the mighty bird. We're going to go back down there to that guy in a second, but I wanted to look around here first. What's this vine about? Oh, I bet I need some creature with, like, fire abilities to get me through there. I got to catch some kind of a fire monster, and by catch, I mean get an egg for it. Fire? Nope. You guys. You guys are, like, fire-esque, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're fire element. What is this buff? Increase critical chance by 10% and critical damage by 20. That is amazingly good. How far does the demo go for? Supposedly two plus hours. Is what I was told. So, you know, pretty good for a demo, I would say. What the heck is sustain? Don't sustain, I want you to die. Alright, kill you. Crit on that last one is pretty good for over overkill damage. Feather storm. I've been ignited. But he used it on my fire, dude. What a fool. Dude, this shield thing, I've just realized the shield thing above me that is like taking my damage so far, it is so good. That is amazingly useful. All right, let's get you nice and low so I can hopefully overkill you next turn. Those crits are going to help a lot. No, stop getting health back, you nerd. Dude, this shield is amazingly great. I love it. It even takes the burn damage. Goodbye. All right, come on. Give me an egg. Give me an egg. You know you want to. Three star. 30% chance. Let's go. No! I need this egg, man. Got to level up at least. I need this egg. All right, what other skills I got? Increases mana regeneration of whole party by 10%. Seems pretty good, but I don't think it's that useful early on. Proving health. That just makes it better. I can learn bubble burst. So I can just... So these can also lead to other moves in general. This game is pretty, which is the main reason you backed it. Not bad. On Sunday during the Persona 5 stream, I'm going to tweet Persona 5 art to you. Please don't block me for it. I don't like the way you've brought this up. Oh, that scene, combo healing seems really good. 
Let's get the earth attack so I have another element to work with. Seems like the right call. Bam, 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 bam. Hello, chest. Don't mind if I do. Crit ring, nice. Oh, you're full. You got one space left. All right, from now on, I'm gonna have to actually pay attention to what I'm adding and see which is better than I was. Dude, this little wolf thing has a sword. Cat Zerker, I want it. I want it real bad. Applies poison. You're weak to, yeah, you're weak to, yeah. Poisoned, nice. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Get that damage off. Next turn, I'm gonna hit that guy with the poison attack. Yeah, he got hurt by poison too. I'm gonna get him low, and I'm gonna get overclock damage with the bird's attack. Stop hitting my slime, you nerds. All right, so we slime shot, get you low. And then explosion will do a lot and give me some overkill points. Nice. Chaos, why is the slime's name Larry? Because he's trying to live like Larry. Bam, 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 bam. All right, get you nice and low. Unfortunately, I'm taking too many turns here, which is less than ideal, but I'm gonna get a lot of overkill points at least. And I'm gonna get back to full, I'm gonna have everyone at full health. So hopefully that pans out. I don't know what's more important, finishing the fight fast or getting the bonus stuff. Victory. Three stars, not that good. It's hard to get good overkill damage. I think finishing faster might actually be the most important, so I'm gonna focus on that in the future. Dang it, I want I want that fox thing. I want it. But then came the four, free from greed or any other sin who listened to the voice within, struck a wound to the realm's core. Must be talking about the four families that have the four different beasts. Yo, can my bubbles break this? Not strong enough, all right, duly noted. Let's go up. All right, this game has got quite a bit of exploring to it for being a demo right out the gate. Smoke bomb, useful, could be. It's not hentai, by the way. If it's not hentai, then why would you get blocked for it? I, uh, you know what? We'll just have to wait until I stream on Sunday and see. Yo, plus 25 defense, that's amazing. Uh, well, I'll give that to you. That's defense and health, health. You don't really need crit damage, because you're kind of like, you, you're the mage. You heal and you afflict debuffs. The one who needs to be strong and get, yo, yes, I want this. The one who needs to be strong and get crit, what is the, yaoi? Yo. Let's do this, what's that buff? Dodging magical hits, okay. You're weak to fire. You're weak to earth. All right, I want the cat Zerker first. Let's get him poisoned, get some damage in there. I'm gonna focus a lot more this time on just killing them fast. Try and finish in three turns or less. Poison gonna kill you? Ah, oh, so close. So I can let him die to the poison though, and that's what I'm gonna do. Ah, but that's such an easy way to, oh, never mind. he's healing himself. Unfort. I'm not gonna be able to do this in as many turns as I wanted. Unless I let him die to poison here instead of getting overkill. But this is probably gonna be so much overkill, I think it's worth it. Yeah, it was like over 100 damage of overkill. Oh, he's just gonna flat out tackle me? Yo, that tackle looks sick! It's the strongest tackle I've ever seen. You resist flying. I would hope a Metroidvania would have good exploring. Well, it does so far. All right, let's, uh, let's lower your armor. I don't really know what armor break does. I assume it lowers defense in some way. And then explode. Insanely good damage. Stop healing, you nerd. Ice hail level two. All right, I resist that, thankfully. Uh, we're good on HP. I wanna make sure I kill you this turn. Get slimed on. Easy poison. Explosion! Yo, perfect time for a crit. All right, how'd I do? 22%, I only got three again. But I got the cat circer egg, let's go! 30% chance, boys. We got our third monster. Let's do it. All right, guys, start thinking. What are we going to name this cat zerker? This is a pretty good inventory setup. I like it.
Nice and Cat Zerker. All right, what are we naming the Cat Zerker? Although I love the name Cat Zerker on its own. Name it Morgana. Name it Bob Ross. Both very good names right out the gate. Mona, Zeke, Meowth, Mona. All right, we had someone say Morgana and two people say Mona, so I'm just going to go Mona. Zeke is a good shout out as well, as well as Bob Ross. Plenty of good options on those names. All right, there we go. Oh, and we automatically have two skill points because it's already level three. Nice. So let's look at its skills. Only have two moves. It has five moves that can be unlocked. Okay. Neutral attack. Neutral attack. This would give it a wind type move. These are all physical. Okay, so it's a full-on physical attacker. Good, I wanted one of those. So now we have someone who's like full-on magic, full-on physical, and then uh, our bird is like half and half. Sparky23, welcome to the stream. I don't think I've seen you on the streams before. Glad to have you. I might just not recognize your name. I'm sorry. Danish Posty as well. Welcome to the stream. Is this a PC game? It's a PC game that will also have a Switch release. Currently, this is just a demo of it. The actual game is not out yet. It's uh, already been funded on Kickstarter, though. I think it's supposed to come out sometime in mid to late 2019. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I know that the uh, it said that early access stuff, people who backed it for early access, would be getting early access like early to mid-2019. So I assume the game is supposed to release late 2019, somewhere around there. But it will be coming out on Switch at some point. That was a stretch goal that it met. When's the Chaos Face reveal? Never. Okay, so I got three skill points, so I kind of want to unlock at least something. Heal, regeneration. Applies regeneration for the whole team. This sounds really useful. I want that. Give us regen, so that's one skill point. Now I got one more. I want to upgrade one of my attacks. Let's just, like, get Claws level two, I think. It is going to be on the Switch. It, ha it reached that uh, Kickstarter goal, so it will definitely happen. Oh, hello. Is this an enemy? No. Hello there, old timer. Oh, if it isn't an old friend of mine. Oh, is this the guy I was trying to get to? I did not realize. I thought that the guy I was trying to get to was further to the right. Cass has already done a face reveal. His face is literally a Spider-Man mask. Hey, Burren, long time no see. I brought you a new student. He just hatched his first monsters. I thought you might teach him some lessons. So you're the new Spectral Keeper, huh? Folks call me Old Burren. I've made my home at the end of the Keeper's Trail so I can teach all of you Greenhorns about your new duties as fully-fledged Monster Keepers. But first, let's battle to see if you're worthy of the title. Yo, trainer battles, let's go. Always observe your enemies carefully. Some say that the outcome of a battle is decided before it begins. Since I raised those blobs myself, they are stronger than the ones you've seen so far. As you can see, their level is much higher. It's literally like... Oh, they're level 6s, never mind. I saw the 1, 2, and 3 and thought they were all like level 1, 2, and 3. But no, they're level 6. That's like double my level. That's scary. You can also see the weaknesses or resistances for your enemies. My blobs are weak to wind attacks. All right, well, let's go. Thank goodness I have a, a wind attacker. So we're going to poison this fool. Get poisoned on sun. Look at the top right corner of the screen. That is the combo counter. Every action you do in combat will increase the combo counter based on how often you hit your enemies or healed or buffed your allies. This will increase the damage of the following attacks. The combo counter resets after every turn. Oh, okay. So it makes sense to always try to attack with your weaker defensive or assisting monsters first and use high hit count actions, which I think is how I have it set up anyway. Oh, I forgot to put equipment on on Mona. Dang it, should have done that. I'll do it after this fight. This will maximize the damage of your offensive monsters that act later. Oh yeah, that's very good to know. Well, in that case, uh, claws. Very good. I use my claws despite swinging my sword. And then they're weak to wind, right? Yeah, so feather storm this fool. All right, these guys are very high level. This is going to be scary. Arcane Bolt level two. Yeah, it does good damage. I think we'll be fine as long as I get this one killed next turn. I assume when you fight another trainer, you can't get any monster eggs, so I'm not really worried about my rating on this fight. I didn't realize there are items here. Oh, you can just have a normal attack. That's good to know. All right, sick. What kind of awesome family heirloom monster starts off at level 1 in power? Yeah, it's fair. What's your thoughts on a next order 2? I really like the game except the story. Maybe it was a bit too easy and simple. Digimon World Next Order is the... 
Okay, yeah, I had to think for a second about which game that was, because I thought you were talking about another hacker's memory, and I was like, what? No, Next Order. I'd love another Next Order. Yeah, the story was too easy and simple, though. I agree with that. They should uh, do better with it. Uh, I'm just going to kill you, even though I think you might die to poison, but I want to be sure. And then let's use Lightning Bolt this time instead of the Feather Storm so I don't use too much MP. Alright, we should have this fight in the bag, since I can cast Regeneration and also heal. Are you going to play Code Vein? I've never heard of Code Vein. I don't know what that is. Anime Dark Souls? If it's Dark Souls, ask then probably not. But you never know. Feather Storm. Yeah, I mean, I would love basically any new Digimon game. The more Digimon games, the better, really. I'm all for more Digimon. Alright, I'm gonna poison the one in the back as we continue to focus on hitting the one in the front. Can't use claws, gotta use slash. That was pretty cool. You're gonna live this, huh? Select level. Oh, okay, that's really cool as well. That's good to know. Cass, we have a monster named Pete based off the Wanyamon from Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Yo, that's a good name idea. Remember that the next time I ask for a name. Suggest it. I gotta make sure that there's actually something that would, like, fit Pete, though. I guess, uh... Mona here would have been the best choice, but too little too late. Alright, you know what? Let's heal. Make sure we keep good on health. And then, uh, I gotta stick to Slash, so I'm just gonna kill you with it. Goodbye. And then we get some damage. Pete was an MVP, you're right. Cybersleuth is what really made Digimon games popular in the West? Yes, it did. And I'm glad it did, because then other Digimon games have done well as well. I really cannot wait. I know this is resisted, but I want to break his armor. I really cannot wait to get uh, Digimon Survive. I'm really looking forward to it. I hope it does well. All right, we got this thing next turn for sure, even if it heals here. Not the Arcane Bolt. They finally hit my fox. All right, end this fool. Goodbye. Die to your fellow slime brethren. We've done it, boys. I do get raided. Combat duration took way too long. I actually got negative points for it. It still has the rare loot chance, so I wonder if I actually could have gotten an egg from that. But I didn't want another slime egg, so that's fine. Pete is the best Digimon detective. You're right. Yo, levels for days. Don't mind if I do. Not bad. Not bad at all. You have walked the Keeper's Trail, and you defeated my monsters. However, to become a Monster Keeper proper, you will need to complete one more test. Young Keeper, this next test will be much more challenging. You should prepare for it first. If your monsters have any free skill points, use them now and use them wisely. I also need to give equipment to Mona. Does not need a wooden stick. Morning Star is better because it takes away a lot of uh, our magic, but I don't use magic anyways, given the impact ring. All right, and then skill points. What do I want to level up here? I'm going to make Feather Storm better. And then for Larry. I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't even know Digimon had video games coming out if it weren't for this channel. Well, I'm glad that I... Uh, could bring it to your attention. Is Survive going to be a YouTube thing? Or are you going to stream that? I'm planning on streaming it, and then it'll go to YouTube as a result. It'll definitely end up on YouTube one way or another, but hopefully I'll still be able to stream at the time. Assuming nothing goes terribly wrong like it did last time. But uh, I will stream it and then put the streams on YouTube. I plan on streaming it a lot when it comes out. Like when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out at the end of January, I'm going to stream that for like four days in a row. It's going to be a lot of fun. Healing skills trigger an additional heal. I probably want that, right? Or I could get Bubble Burst for a new move. I'm going to do the extra healing. Alright. Alright, so what you got? You got a boss battle for me? Have you prepared for the real test? As ready as I'll ever be. Good. You show bravery, but this time you're not facing a normal monster. I'm fighting this, like, metal monkey thing. Are you streaming Hitman tomorrow? No, I didn't get the... I know that Hitman... What the heck? Particularly powerful monsters are often described as champions. Oh no, it's got a Giga Aura. 
But uh, I'm not streaming Hitman tomorrow because Saturday is Pokemon Day, like Michael said. And also because I didn't buy the uh, special edition whatever that lets you get it like three days early. I bought the normal edition. So I get it on Tuesday and I'm going to stream it on Tuesday. Particularly powerful monsters are often described as champions. They have more health, do more damage, and can act multiple times a turn. Multiple times a turn? That's too far. It is your job as a monster keeper to take care of them. So it's only fitting that you beat one to become a member of the Order of Monster Keepers. Show me what you're made of. All right, well, I mean, here we go. This is super scary. What do you, you resist fire, so I'm going wind all out. Good thing I leveled up my wind move. Uh, let's poison you right out if I can. Can you be poisoned? Yeah, you're poisoned, all right, good. Uh, I'm gonna use regeneration next turn, I think, but for right now, let's get some uh, claws going. Decent damage, all right, we're doing good so far. Hit him with the level two feather storm, go. Got a crit in there, not bad. Poison does a lot, that was a good call. All right, I didn't do too much, except he does get two moves in a row, and as a result, that did a good bit. But this is why I boosted my healing abilities. Dude, I already wish, it's just like when I played Monster Crown. I wish this game was already out. I wanna play it. I don't think I need to cast regeneration yet. I'm gonna use Slash, because I don't wanna use up too much of my uh, MP. Yeah, I can't use Feather Storm this turn, rip. Well, Lightning Bolt it is then. Takes too much power. All right, I think we should have this in the bag, judging by how much damage we're doing so far. And we're taking hits pretty well also. All right. Uh, let's get an armor break on him. It's a champion, Digimon. My tail sans, hello, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Glad to see you. Get him with the claws. And then we get another feather storm. This thing is so bulky. That poison damage is coming through though. Stop hitting my slime boy. He means a lot to me. All right, I did a lot of damage. I think I'm gonna cast regen this turn. Uh, let's just arcane bolt for some damage. Then I'm gonna cast regeneration. There we go, everyone. We can now regen. And then another feather storm. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna be really low on uh, MP after this, but that's fun. Got like two crits out of that. Should have them in like two, maybe three more turns. I'm gonna need to cast some healing though, it looks like, so. Oh, dude, that regen does pretty well. I'm gonna cast a heal on Slime Boy. All right, Silverstone, hey, welcome to the stream. Glad to see ya. And then, yeah, just Lightning Bolt, if that's the best I can do. I think we, with the poison, we should definitely have him next turn. No, not my bird, stop hitting my bird. Not the bird, no, bird! Oh, I'm still alive. Oh yeah, I was close. I should have healed Bird, but he had been attacking, uh, he had been attacking my slime so much, I thought I needed it. I needed him to heal instead. Oh, we got him, though. He's done. He's done. Get Feather Stormed. Time to die. Give me a crit. Oh, he lived. Poison? We got him. Let's go. Stopping by real quick before work to say hi since I uh, saw they started on the phone. Well, thanks for dropping by, dude. A rare loot amount, too. Common loot amount, too. It just gives you the amount flat out. I didn't get an egg, though. Rip. I wanted Metal Monkey Power. Will you stream Xenoblade X again? I'm not planning on it. If Xenoblade X was released on the Switch or something, then I would, but... Barring it getting a re-release, no, I don't plan on it. Cass, if you made a game, what would it be called? I have absolutely no idea. I would have to figure out what the game would be about and all that, and then name it based off of that. You can call me My Tail or Tails if you want. All right. I'll honestly, probably just every time I see your name, I'll say it out entirely. <laughs> because I won't remember, but I'll try to. Congratulations, young one. You have defeated your first champion, and therefore you are now a Keeper Aspirant. Nothing more is required of you. However, stay a while and listen, won't you? Because there are things going on in the Sanctuary that trouble me. You see, monsters can't become this powerful by normal means, and champions usually don't accept other monsters beside them or a Keeper in control of them. Champions are always an anom anomaly, words, quite rare in nature. I enhanced this golem myself to make it stronger. But even I couldn't control it for longer periods of time, so I leave it deactivated most of the time. Recently, Keeper Rangers have been finding an unusual amount of champions around the Sanctuary. I regularly receive letters by Vario Mail from Rangers who are stuck in the distant reaches of the Sanctuary fighting against champions. Now I want to play Pokemon Ranger. If it weren't for my old bones, I'd go out there myself. But at least I can keep the Keeper's trail safe. I trapped a champion in the caves in this area. You can take care of it if you feel up to the task. Alright, got the Mountain Path key. Nice. But before you go, there's one more lesson I want to teach you. Don't worry, I don't have any other monsters for you to fight. This lesson is just about feeding your monsters. Yo. 
All right, got two apples. Oh, these are just like healing items, it looks like. Oh no, this boosts their stats flat out. That's sick. Feeding your monsters will boost their stats. Caring for your monsters this way is vital if you intend to face more champion monsters. But a monster always only profits from the last three food items you gave to it. Oh, okay. I understand. Good luck on your road as a monster keeper. Well, then you're a keeper aspirant now. Still, the only way to improve your rank is to beat more champions. And who knows? Maybe you will be the one to reach the title of Keeper Master. There's always only one in a couple of lifetimes. We can take care of that other champion right now, or we can go back to the Keeper Stronghold first. The choice is yours. Where is the thing further this way? Which way is it? Surprised you said... Oh, no. I said it right, but I don't remember how I said it, and now I have to pronounce it again and hope I say it right again. Is it Araya? Is that how I pronounced it? That was what I immediately thought of saying was Araya, just now. Oh, the shell is an equipment thing. Cool. All right, sick. There we go. Let's check out these skills. Dude, I love this. Having a skill tree in, like, any game just makes me love the game, like, five times as much. Araya is correct. Sick. I don't understand how people would mispronounce that. It seems, like, fairly easy to get. Yo, I do want this. Upgrade everyone's mana regeneration, because I'm getting a lot of mana expensive moves now. Do I want to... Unlock... Air Sickle or Heal. Air Sickle is, you know what? Air Sickle gives me an element attack, and it's also a physical move, so I'm gonna learn Air Sickle with that skill point. What are we doing with you, Antelos? When exploiting an enemy weakness with an attack trigger and an additional 50% damage hit, that seems like it's worth going, unlocking the buff move, even if I don't want the buff. I don't know what Shock Debuff does, but I assume it's good. This just flat out increases my attack, and this just flat out increases my magic. You know what, let's unlock Might so that we can get the, uh, the double impact thing next. Because I think that's what I want. This bird is so good. Most people say, like, Area. I had one guy say Era. It's the name I made up in 6th grade and it just stuck since. Okay. That's interesting. Is this the cave path that he wanted me to get by? Yo, can the, uh, can you bust this? I love that noise. That noise is so good. I love that you can just have different monsters, like, in the overworld to help you out. That's so good. This game is doing really well with its whole premise of being a monster tamer, but also a metroidvania. What happens if I do this? Nothing. Okay. Bubbles! Let's do this, boys. They're all level 3. Time to get some easy experience. Gonna acid rain this fool. gonna get him out of here first. Can I just, yeah, just kill him flat out before he can do anything. Nice damage, nice damage. And then this explosion is gonna do a lot. Solid damage. Love it. This is still probably gonna take me, oh yeah, it's definitely gonna take me three turns after he used a heal, you scum. That's fine. Alright. Let's acid rain you. And then I'm going to do this, and I'm going to kill that one with Explosion, because I think Explosion will give me more of an overkill. It was probably a little bit of overkill. Not the Slash. Ow. All right, now I want to heal him, because I want a good health rating at the end of this. And then this should be as good as done. Oh, this is perfect. It's going to leave you just enough health for me to get a really big Explosion kill. See you later, sucker. Give me all that overkill points. Oh yeah, 31% overkill. Let's go. Four star? Yeah, 50% chance. Let's go. Let's go. I did get a rare item. Unfortunately, it is not an egg. I wanted the little heat caterpillar thing as a new friend. I assume that the monster he locked away is down here. I gotta get something that can bust this open. Wizard hat. Okay. Plus 10 defense and plus 10 magic. That would be good for Larry. In fact, I think the boosted magic is worth losing the hide. It's going to take away 5 defense and 50 health. Oh, that's a lot of health to lose, actually. But it's like the, it's the weakest thing out of all, so I, I want more magic power. You know what? No. No, I don't. Because even though you are like the mage, you're more like the buffing dude. You don't need to deal damage. So yeah, let's just stick with that. Oh wait, I don't have the... I need the bird. Yeah. No! Bird, please. Oh hey, bits. 
Hammerhead, thank you for the 515 bits, man. Just enough bits to overtake Lone Wolf. Nice. Is the bit noise too loud, by the way, guys? I turned it down in between the stream and last one because we had been saying it was too loud before. So, uh, let me know if it's still... It's a little loud. It's still a little loud. Man, it was at 16% volume before, and I turned it down to 10. But if it's still too loud, then I'm going to have to put it down to, like, 6 or something. But I'll do, I'll do that next stream. I don't like trying to mess with it midstream because I have trouble going through all the menus. I still don't have uh, Streamlabs uh, memorized. What the heck are bits? Bits are a thing that Twitch came up with to uh, make it easier for people to donate money, basically, without having to worry about chargebacks. So it's basically you can buy bits from Twitch so they get a little bit of cash out of it, and then you can cheer streamers with your bits, and then streamers get money as a result. So it's very good for streamers. Goodbye, you little caterpillar thing. We're gonna try and get through this fight as fast as possible so that we can hopefully get a fast turn win. I should be able to win this next turn. And then we'll uh, hopefully... Ah, dang it, they've got shield and uh, HP. Ah, but my health is still perfect because they went for the bird. Okay. This will kill you, so I'm gonna kill you. And then I should be able to kill this other one between between, uh, Mona and, and, uh, Antelos. You're gonna live. Nothing has upset me more. My two-turn crits, crits! Oh, not enough. I needed one more crit. Oh, that's so disappointing. I was gonna have this in two turns, but instead I got it in three. That'll probably cost me getting the five-star or something. All right, what rank did I get? I got four star, 50% chance, here we go. Ah, no! I didn't even get a rare item, let alone the rare egg I wanted. Gotta level up though, not bad. Dude, the skill, I love it. Any game that has skill trees, I just immediately love. Full offense, might, sorcery, and glory buffs. What do those do? Physical skills deal 20%, magical skills deal 20%, increases critical chance. Dude, that sounds like broken. Deals 3% increased damage for every buff on the monster. Dude. Give me this, and then next we get heroism. That is awesome. Skill trees automatically bump any game up by a full letter grade. I agree wholeheartedly. I love skill trees. So good. Where am oh I'm I'm the I'm the square. Okay. What's up? This is a teleporter stone. You can use it to travel quickly to other teleporters you find. Me? I'm just a treasure hunter. I make business selling things I find here and there. Want to buy some? Yo! Yes. I don't need to ask about Old Baron. I've already seen him. All right. Sell some pretty nice stuff. What can I... I want to sell. I don't need this kunai. I'll sell that. I definitely don't need the wooden sticks. There you go. I'm surprised you even buy them. I'll keep everything else. Interact. Okay. Yeah, I see how that works. All right. I really need... A fire monster. Let's go. I didn't actually mean to fight you, but let's go. I need the experience anyway, to be honest. We could also get one of these guys as a monster. It's not really the monster I'm looking for right now, but monster is a monster, I guess. Weak to fire resist earth. You have a fire monster? Yeah, the bird is like technically fire, but it doesn't have a fire ability though is the problem. It needs a fire ability. Tales of Zillia 1 reminds me you only did Jude's story. Dude, no joke, I was actually thinking about Tales of Zillia earlier today, because it's still, like, my favorite game of all time. And, uh, I was thinking to myself, like, I need to do Mila's story, like, sometime in 2019, because it's been so long and I really want to play it. One day I'll do it. I'll probably stream it, even. But we'll see. Each attack triggers an additional 50% hit. That is so good. Alright, I think I can win this turn. If explosion does enough damage with the sidekick thing, and I think it will. It's not a no explosion is not a fire ability. That's a fire attack. When I say ability, I mean it's like overworld ab ability. This isn't gonna kill Rip. So close. Cause like the bird's overworld ability is flying. I need an overworld ability that like shoots fire so I can burn through those uh whatchamacallit. I may as well heal to full to get the HP bonus. Tales of Zillia is amazing. It's still my favorite game to this day.
All right, four star, good chance. Did not get an egg. Ah! I need these eggs, man. I need more monsters. Oh, hello, chest. Got a bandana. Mana plus 20, crit chance plus three. I don't really think I want that on anyone right now, but maybe in the future. All right, you're talking about that uh, fan game you were making that you sent me that one time. Yeah, it was pretty good. The control scheme, at least, because that's pretty much all that was there for it, but, you know. It's definitely got potential. If you ever, like, get it fully up and going, then I'd be- I'd probably play it on a stream or playthrough or something. I'm gonna fly over these nerds? Well, you know what? No, I need experience. So let's get some experience. Oh, they're all level 5, too. Oh, no, I'm level 5. I keep looking at my monsters by mistake. They're all level 3. All right. Easy experience gain here. Let's go, boys. Get arcane bolted. Easiest crit of my career. Uh, I'm gonna claw you and then hope explosion can kill the other one. Or feather storm, actually, because you're, yeah, you're weak to win. Goodbye. Have the story fully written up if you'd like to look at it sometime. I would rather, I appreciate that, but I would rather wait until you hopefully release it one day and then just play the story from there. So that way I don't have any spoilers or anything. But I appreciate the offer. Oh, it's not like a Pokemon fan game like Insurgents or anything, Michael. His is like a full-on different style of game. You know what? Let's get a lot of overkill here because I can't win in this turn anyways. Chaos, okay, so have you played I Am Setsuna? I have never heard of I Am Setsuna. The game he's making might be made on RPG Maker, I don't know, but it's uh, it's not like a turn-based Pokemon thing. It's entirely different. It's a cool concept. Yo, use full offense. I can only use it on one. Okay, use it on you. And then we're gonna blow this fool away with an explosion. Game Maker Studios, is what you made it on. Ah, okay. Oh, look at this. Five star. Five star. No, four star. What do I need for five star? 10k points? Still no eggs. Rip. All right, eggs are hard to get, but that's understandable. I would imagine they aren't super. They don't just, like, throw them out or anything. Yes. I no, did I get the slug thing? Okay, slug thing is here. Good. I want slug things, egg. Because he probably has a fire move, and I need fire. All right, let's just kill you right out the gate. Goodbye. Easy knockout. I need big points here. Burn. Yo, crit insta-kill. We're gonna win this on turn two. Let's go. Your sustain will not save you. It will not. Okay, armor break. I don't want to kill- Yes, perfect. Put him at like 1 HP and then kill him with explosion. Yo, that move looks sick and I accidentally killed with it, but it looks so cool. Five star. 100% loot chance. Please. He's done it. He's done it. Start thinking up names, boys. We have done it. Give me my magma pillar. You know what playing this game also reminds me? This game is just reminding me of so many other games I want need to play. Is, uh, the Digimon Online Masters. Digimon Masters Online. Oh my goodness, I'm stretching. I'm sorry. But, uh, Digimon Masters Online. I said that I would stream that. I need to stream that one day soon. Probably I'm gonna wait until after I play Hitman a little bit. But, uh, you know what? I'll probably just wait until December. And in December I'll start streaming it. Or January, one or the other. But uh, I need to get to that at some point, because I'm sure there are people on my channel just dying to see more, uh, more Digimon content. Orpheus, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Sangius, Jellybean, Pillboy. Why Pillboy, Michael? Heimlich, okay. Hungy, hungy. It's funny because the two protagonists in your game are Umbreon's and Chaos hates those. Yeah, yeah. I would suffer through it though. I don't know why you suggested Heimlich of all things, but I'm going with Heimlich just because I like to say the word. Michael, I hate you. Those I don't think that's even an option. Can I even do that? No, they don't give you the they don't give you a colon or a three to name it colon three, Michael. Wiggle warm is a good shout out. Wait a minute. Two people have said wiggle warm. 
Lone Wolf, I, I'm sorry. I think you got democracy at the last second. This is your penance for skipping so many of my streams to play Destiny 2. Heimlich is the caterpillar from A Bug's Life. Oh, no, you've ruined it, Lone Wolf, because I hated that movie. Now I'm definitely not doing it. You were so close, but then you got democracied and ruined yourself at the same time. So not only did you get democracy, I also dictatored you. How does it feel to both get democracy and dictatored at the same time? That's a rare happenstance. I'd like to know how you feel right now. All right, Araya, thanks for dropping by while you did, man. See you around. Ironic, he saves others, but not himself. <laughs> All right. I would also like to have one of these birdies, so we're going to try and get them. They are weak to earth. Get earth bended. Poor lone wolf. You got destroyed. This almost murders one. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to get an overkill. Explosion does the most. Boom. Easy crit. Let's go. I feel absolutely destructificated. See you later, Araya. Good luck with work and all that. Dude, this game is great, by the way. So far. I can't wait for it to release. It looks like it's going to be really fun. Are there moves that hit multiple monsters? I have no idea, but I would assume so. Let's win this in two turns, boys. Get absent. Wait a minute. Is this level one explosion? I want level two explosion. Oh, I don't have enough mana for it, so it defaulted me to one. That is actually cool that they do it like that. I'm still going to use it to kill you. Not as much overkill, but still good. All right, here we go, here we go. Yo, that's five star. Let's go, please. Yes, borrow egg. Let's go. All right, chat. Time for another name. Oh, I forgot I have Caterpillar Boy now. We need to do stuff with him. He has three skill points. All right. Let's look at his stuff. You know what? Wait a minute. Let's look at all the skills at once. So I'm going to birth my Vero first. I'm definitely going to grab this when it releases on Switch. I'll probably, I think it releases on PC first, and then they're going to port it to Switch afterwards. So I'll probably get it on PC just so I can do a playthrough of it, like, day of. But uh, I could definitely see, honestly, I might even buy it again for Switch, to be real with you. Bringer of Chaos, Thunderbolt, Zeke. Clutch Nixon. Clutch Nixon! Yes! All right, Lone Wolf, this time, this time the dictatorship sides with you. Can I fit all of Clutch Nixon in this, please? No. Please fit. Oh, I'm so close. Two more digits. One more digit. Not digit. Letter. Whatever. Don it. Clutch Nixon. Let's go. All right. I'm sorry. I had to go with the Far Cry 4 reference. It had to be done. All right. They're both level four. That's not bad. Arcane Bolt. Every gets every hit during an attack is increased by 5% continuously. Yo, that's really good. Every hit has a 10% chance to apply burn. That hits multiple times. Shield is nice. Cass, ever played a Shin Megami Tensei game? That's the game that, like, Persona spinned off from, right? That was a spin off from? I don't know how to say that. Uh, no, I have not. That's pretty nice. Or, you know, give me Arcane Bolt, and then give me the Cascade, and then give me the level two of this. There we go. And then for you, Featherstorm is a good move, Air Sickle is a good move. All physical. So you're an all physical attacker. Good to know. Applies might buff to whole team. Applies sorcery to last monster. Sidekick buff to whole team. Yo, sidekick is a really good buff. Every buff action applies one additional random buff. Yes! Yo, so this thing is like the ultimate buffer. It just buffs people up. Thought Shin Megami Tensei was just the Japanese name for Persona. Is it? I thought that someone told me the Persona games came from them. I don't know, honestly. I might have misunderstood. All right, and then I'm going to unlock another attacking move, so give us Featherstorm. All right, how do I switch them around? Okay, yeah. Uh, let's put you instead of you. And I'm going to keep Wiggle Warm in the back for now. It is a separate entity. That's what I thought. Yeah. You are incorrect, Michael. What a shock. Ha <laughs> ha! I appreciate you coming to these streams, Michael. <laughs> I'm gonna go down first. Oh, no, wait, no, I can't, can I? Yeah, I gotta get a big jump. Oh, no, wait, I need to go back to where those vines were now that I have a uh, fire boy. Yeah, because he uses fire. What, is, uh, what does bird do? Do you also... Yeah, you're just like other bird. Okay. So all birds are created equal. 
All birds are created equal. So one thing I do know about this game that might not be like the most beloved thing is that I don't think monsters can evolve at all. I'm pretty sure the monster you have is what it is for the rest of the game. However, I might be wrong on that, but I think that's how it goes. However, it does have it where, uh... It does have it where you can have, like, dark and light forms of the monsters. And I don't know how you switch them from dark and light and all that, but they do have secondary forms. So, like, form changes. So. Oh, this is, this is the door. Okay, yeah. The other champion is down here. Yeah, it's the champion right here. Give me... Where's the bird? I want to... Oh, no! I got too close. I thought I could jump over it. I wanted to see what was past it. Uh, well, we're going to fight it then. Choose monsters. So, I think for a... I did want to use Clutch Nixon, but I think... Oh, okay. I see how this works. I think for this fight, I do want Larry because I need my uh, medic. So, I think this is the right call here. And also, I need to poison him. So, let's poison him first. Always start with the poison. Oh, that was not the poison move. I am a fool. Full offense to you. Make you all powerful. And then, uh, what are you weak to? Oh, you're weak to earth, but you resist flying moves, so I want to use explosion. Good damage. Sly, how's it going, man? Dude, the game is great so far. I love it. Lightning punches. OP. Plus nerf. Thank you, shield. The game is really great so far. I love it. This is the poison move that I meant to use because I am a fool. Although, getting the armor debuff is still good. Uh, I am loving it so far, Sly. It is very enjoyable. I'm fighting a boss monster right now. Yo, let's do the might buff. Yeah. All oh, might talk. Now he can United States to smash this full. So much poison damage. Yo, poison is great against champions, it seems. I'm being lightning punched to all heck. Heal up. Heal up, boys. I'm glad I got that extra healing. Get him with the claws. And then I can use level 2 explosion again. Let's go. Oh my word, the crit damage. Over 400. Exactly. Go beyond plus ultra. For the creators of this game, uh, I can't remember the name of the creator. But if you uh, do exclamation mark Kickstarter, you can go to the Kickstarter page and it has the creator listed there. I also tweeted his at when I started streaming. I'm going to apply regeneration as well. Let's just buff up for days on this fool. Get exploded on sun. Decent damage. Dude, poison is where it's at. No, not freezing punches. Oh no! My bird! He defeated my bird. He had a water type move all that time. You summon the new monsters in your battles? Yeah, Michael, I'm going to. But in case you didn't notice, I'm in a boss battle right now. So I really didn't want to use the monsters that were just new. Is this the team you started with or did you pick up monsters on the way? The yellow bird that just died? Oh, no, it can heal. This is bad. The yellow bird that just died, Slyro, is your starter monster. You only start with one, then you have to unlock everything else. He's still poisoned, right? Yeah, okay. So just keep hitting him. All right, healing is annoying. I need you to be dead. But yeah, Sly, you only start with one monster. Please don't heal anymore. No, stop healing. I think I'm dealing more, even with only two monsters, I think I'm dealing, or er, dealing more damage than he's healing, but it is annoying. Can you not switch in monsters when they die? I don't think so. Can I? Oh, there is a switch monster button up there. But no, it's not letting me. There might be a way to, Michael, but I don't see how. I'm hitting the switch monster button, but it's not doing anything. Oh, you know what? I bet switch monster is to mess up the tor uh, torn, the turn order in different ways. Oh, he's only got level one heal now. Okay, that's better. Those lightning punches, man, they're too strong. This thing is too powerful. Yeah, okay, so I can switch up the turn order. But no, I think you only get your three in combat, and that's it. So I can't do what you're telling me to do. I really need you to stop healing, please. Thank goodness for poison. No, level two. This is going to come down to the wire. Thank goodness for regeneration. If only I hadn't lost the bird, I didn't think he would do so much damage in one hit. 
according to Wikipedia, plus ultra is the national motto of Spain. Weird. Please die to poison. We've done it, boys. I'm getting a horrible ranking on that one. Yeah, it took way too many turns. Two stars, nice. That is terrible. All right, well, if we can, like, rematch him, maybe I'll try that later. Did I- wait a minute, I didn't see. Did I still get- yeah, I had to have still gotten experience, because he's level 6. So I still get experience even if the Mon goes down. That's good. Spain confirmed Academia lovers. <laughs> All right, we got a skill point on everyone. Just Slyro, look at this skill tree. It's so good. Yo, Larry is sick. Larry is my healing boy. He he heals everyone and he inflicts debuffs. He's where it's at. Yeah, all the monsters get experience, even the ones not in fight, which is good because that means less level grinding and grinding isn't like necessarily bad in monster training games because obviously you're you expect to grind some, but mitigating the amount of grinding you have to do is really important. I feel like otherwise the game just gets really annoying if you have to grind too much. I don't want the sorcery buff for the whole team. I think I just want to get healed even better, because Larry is my healing boy. Wiggle worm. Wiggle warm. Did I not name you? No, this is your name. We did name you Wiggle Warm. All monsters in the party deal 5% more damage? Uh, yes please. That sounds broken. I love it. It's only 5%, but damage is damage? Alright, this is Buff Bird. He buffs everyone. Let's get... Let's make his... Well, no, mostly he's going to be doing buff moves. So I guess I don't really want to make his attacks stronger, necessarily. Let's give him a defense plus. Why not? There we go. More defense. Mona. Different skill trees for different stats, I assume, or powers or whatever. I think it's based on their moves. So, like, each of these, like, starting ones, like, this is a move. Might is a move, which is a buffing move. Featherstorm is an attacking move. Beating is an attacking move. Air Sickle. So you unlock, like, the move... And then the trees have things that, like, make the move stronger, but also unlock other moves. Like, this is one debuff. This is a different debuff move that I've unlocked by going down the skill tree. Then you can get stat buffs from it. And then some of them have, like, straight-up powers, like Wiggle Worm here. This is just a power that he automatically has, where all monsters deal 5% more damage. So it's like, the skill tree is really awesome, and I love it so far. You know what, you have a lot of crit chance pluses that you can learn, so let's just start learning crit chance pluses. And start stacking those on Mona. Then as for Bird Boy here, didn't I want double impact, I think? Yeah, give me double impact. There we go. But anyways, yeah, I start if you go to the Kickstarter page, Slyro, by typing in exclamation mark Kickstarter, it will uh you can see that uh the four like colored element guys on like the front page of it. That's, uh, that's all of your starter options. Wait a minute, I need to go further past the boss and see what was back behind him. Personally think Lusamon Child is better than Fallen Mode and Shadow Lord Mode. Nah, I love Shadow Lord Mode, but, I mean, all of them are good. Sustain Ring, Mana Regeneration. Alright, you know what? Antelos, I think you need this. That's Mana Regeneration. Yeah, get rid of Crit Ring, that's not even that good. Get to a Sustain Ring instead to help with your mana, because you keep running too low. Larry is good on items. Clutch Nixon. I'm going to give you the bandana and your physical. Wiggle Warm needs the uh, wizard hat. I'm going to give him the crit ring as well. There we go. All right, what's further this way? More things I can un- Oh! I've made a mistake. All right, wait a minute. Do I have something that can bust through here? No, that's bird. No, I'm, I don't have anything that's going to get me through. By the way, Slyro, every single monster has a uh, ability you can use outside of battle to help you with, like, the platforming Metroidvania stuff. Yeah, I missed the chest. I'm going to go back around for it. Creator of this game is Moi Rai Games. Yes, that is it. Thank you. All right, let's go. We got Clutch Nixon here now. Who is the buff boy. I'm going to give the sidekick buff because it makes everyone way better. It is awesome. This game is really good so far. Alright, well, I'll just murder you then. Dude, the sidekick buff is great. I love it. Give me sidekick buff always. Alright, we should be able to get all the kills next turn, I think. Yeah, go for bird. He's got shield up. No, not that bird. I meant other bird. I should have been more specific. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's kill you with just flat-out beating. Ariel. 
And then we're going to do a lot of damage to you, and then we'll get an overkill with Explosion. Yo, I can still use Explosion level 2. Getting the mana regen buff was such a good idea. Oh, you're talking about better in-game. Ah, oh, you do need 10k for a 5-star. Dang it, I just missed it. I got a red gem, though. See ya, Hammerhead. Thanks for dropping by, dude. I thought I didn't realize you were talking about in the Cyber Sleuth games. I thought you were just talking about their design in general. Uh, I didn't use any of the Lusamon, I think, in my Cyber Sleuth playthroughs. I think I might have used... Uh, I think I used... Lusamon... I'm gonna get in a fight. Yep, that's fine. I used Lusamon uh, Shadow Lord mode in like one of the final tournaments or something was all I did. I'm gonna get the sidekick buff because it's broken. Alright. Whoops. Dang it, no kills. Yep, nothing I can do about it. Rip. Every monster levels at the same rate, I guess. Seems that way. Oh, I got the kill. How'd I get the kill? Whatever. I'll take it. Must have got a crit when I wasn't looking. Use Lucimon in the arcade? Yeah, I thought so. But, uh, I, I don't really know which ones are better than others between all those. Alright, well, uh... I'm gonna kill you with beating. I'm gonna finish this in two turns. Get you low with claws. Easy crit. Almost murdered. Perfect. An explosion. Goodbye. Look at that damage. My word. It's too much. You gotta give me... Yeah. Five stars. 100% loot chance. The vital ring. That's a good item. Let's equip that to someone. Uh, Where's the HP? Oh, there's the HP stat. Alright. Well, you look like you need it more. Boom. Alright. Let's... uh. I don't want to... Man, I'm going to put Wiggle Worm in place of Mona for now, but I don't like the idea of only having, like, one heavy hitter. Uh, hit, why did I say that so strangely? I don't like the idea of only having Antelos as a heavy hitter, so I might switch Mona back in here in a second, just for another heavy hitter. Bam, 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 bam. Cass, have you played a Yakuza game before? Not to my memory, no. He's going to feel pain even after he got killed? Yeah. Michael with the broom reference. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Never even seen that movie. Nice and crit. Alright. I'm just gonna get some overkill points on you. I should've used the sidekick buff, you idiot. Always lead with sidekick buff. What am I doing? Curse you, sustain. And also, how dare you ignite me. I miss having Larry for easy heals. Alright, there we go. Unfortunately, Ignite is not going to work too well on any of these guys. I will kill the last one next turn, though, which is good. Easy knockout. How dare you heal? That's bad. Don't hit the bird. Okay. That's fine. Not going to get a very good health bonus on this one, but what can you do? First, we get you with this round of feathers. It's the opening feather round. And then we hit you up with the Arcane Bolt level 1. Nice and crit. Very good. And then we destroy you with the other feathers. Goodbye, you little caterpillar, you. Four star? I'll take four star. So it looks like the amount of stars goes up by every 2,000 points you get. Easy blue, Jim. Still need more level ups. All right. Have I not been at the top left of this room? Oh, hey. I couldn't get through here before, but now I can. Good thing we came back this way. Burn it. I love that animation. That's so good. I want the chest. A walnut. Okay, thank you. Uh, fight me. Let's get some experience, boys. Alright, sidekick first, always. And this time I'm going to be able to use the fire attack on these guys, thankfully. So ignite this fool. Easiest burn of my career. I'm going to explosion you, even though it's going to leave one of you alive to hit me this turn, because I'm going to get some two kills next turn with some overkills. Not the claws! 
Yeah, it might have been a mistake not just going for the kill on the first one. But too little, too late. Okay. Let's just kill you. Didn't get much overkill there, but that's fine. We're going to ignite this one, and then we're going to explosion on the other one for a lot of points. This is a very useful crit right there. Overkill! Beautiful. I would love to get a crit on this next one if I could. No, don't heal, you nerd. That's rude. Who heals in today's age? I'm not healing. You don't see me healing. All right, that's good. I'm just going to use barrier just because I want to kill this one with explosion for the extra points. Get exploded on. We've done it, boys. Easy victory. Four star? I'll take the four star on that. That's good. Level ups? Nope, not yet. Do they all level up at the same rate? Or do they just have, like, similar level ups, but as they get higher, it'll change? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I also wonder if you, like, are capped out at six. Surely you're not capped out at six, because, like, the final game is going to have, like, over 80 monsters. So, got to allow more than that. Wait a minute. I'm going past that chest that I wanted to get, aren't I? I need to go back down and left, I think? Is that the way I needed to go? I don't remember. Was it down here and left is where I'm thinking of? Yeah, yeah, this is where I fought him. Yep, 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 so it's this way. Chaos, what made you want the name Chaos? I don't remember where I came up with Chaos in the Sky. I've just had it for as long as I can remember. Ocarina, healing skills active and passive increased by 15%. Yo, that's going on Larry. That is going on my boy Larry. He's getting rid of something for this. Get rid of the hide. It's the worst item you got. Lose some defense and HP, but buffing your healing overall is super worth it. Clutch Nixon, you can have the hide in exchange. There you go. I don't remember why I had Chaos in the Sky as my name. I, I've had it for so long now that I just stick with it. I like the name. But I don't have, uh, I don't remember why I chose it in the first place. Bow, now, bow, now, bow, now, bow. Because I came up with it when I was like, I don't know, 13? 13, that was almost a decade ago. Uh, ago, <laughs> words. That was almost a decade ago. I'm so young. I want this Rocky guy because I bet he can break the things that I need broken. All right, so sidekick. We're going to try and kill this thing fast enough. I need to win in like two turns, ideally, to try and guarantee myself a 100% rate. All right, explosion for the overkill and to get this guy out of here because I want one kill. What are the monsters' names? We got we got Larry Wiggleworm. It's Wiggleworm, not Worm. Uh, Antelos is my bird right here, and then we have. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to do this in the amount of turns I want. Dang it! But it's fine because I'll uh, get some overkill at least. And then we have uh, Clutch Nixon is the other bird. Can you space out the words of Chaos in the Sky 13 on the YouTube channel? I don't think so, and also I don't want to because it's meant to all be one word. I should have waited and let my bird, my fire bird, do that for the extra kill, the overkill. Yep, that might have actually just cost me the five star. Rip. Hey, level ups, though. All right, what do we got here? What do we want on this one? Initial shock seems pretty good, actually, because that's just plain out useful, no matter what I do. So I'm going to do that. And then, uh, I don't really need a sorcery buff for the whole team. I think I actually want to make my attacks better. So let's do the poison attack first to make it better. There we go. That'll work. Okay. So now that we've got that, I think we just need to keep going to the right side of the screen. I want to fight Plant Boy. All right. Oh, it just had a spike. Okay. When you get into a fight, does it just draw in all the other monsters from nearby? Is that how that works, maybe? It might be. All right, so I actually, I'm going to... Uh... No, 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 no. I'm going to use the OG lineup for this to uh, try and make sure that I get the kills fast. Although, maybe I should have kept Clutch Nixon for the sidekick bonus, but too little too late. But I'm going to try and do this in, like, two turns, hopefully, or something like that. To, uh... Oh, this just flat out kills you. Perfect. That'll do.
and then here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna kill you, and then, because I know it's gonna take me at least two turns, I'm gonna try and get a really high overkill on the plant. So I'm gonna use Larry to heal off that damage, so I get a full, I'm at full HP for the HP boost. And then Claws is gonna bring you down low, and then Explosion is gonna overkill you like crazy. Whoa! That almost murdered you. This is perfect, though. There we go. Look at all that bonus. That was the one who got stunned from the ability I just got. Come on. Oh, yes. 100% rare loot. No! He gave me a mana ring. That's not what I wanted. Got to level up, at least. Didn't I get Wiggle Warm and Clutch Nixon at the same time? But Wiggle Warm just leveled up before Clutch Nixon, so maybe they do have a little bit of difference, at least. This would be nice. Every hit has a 10% chance to apply burn seems useful, but I have a move that just straight up burns anyway, so I don't think I really need it. Uh, da, 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 da. I could get this other move over here. Shield all for one times 60% of defense value. That seems useful. Let's try that. Why not? This is a demo, yes. The game is on Kickstarter right now. It's already been funded, though, but they are doing some more uh, stretch goals if you want to fund them to try and hit those stretch goals. There's one stretch goal that they're like two away from. The next stretch goal, I think, unless they hit it when I wasn't looking, is to get a speedrun mode, which would be pretty cool for the people who like speedrunning. I don't really care about it myself. But uh, after that, there is uh, a stretch goal to add like another 20 monsters into the game, so I hope they can hit that one. Hello. This is the Keeper Stronghold, home to all monster keepers. Welcome, Keeper Aspirin. Yeah, thank you. What on earth are you? I love this. Tengu, Dub Duba. Okay. Here in the Keeper Stronghold, monsters live alongside humans. We raise them to be our friends. A monster raised by a human would never attack a human. Oh, you say that now. Oh, the minimap color has changed as well. Usually, champion monsters are very rare, but recently they've been seen in regions of the in all regions of the sanctuary. That's not good. Can I read any of these? No. We're gonna go right first and then up. Oh, is this where I buy stuff? Yeah. Okay, I like this. Got a lot of good items. Vital ring plus one, so just upgraded versions of them. Okay. I'll take a shell plus one. Hey, give me two of these, actually. I don't think I really want the claw. Well, you know what? Yeah, give me the claws. That's really good. 40 attack and then mana regeneration plus 10. Might want that. Um, And this is really good. I'll take two of those. All right. I used up, like, all my gold. Probably should have looked at these first. I didn't realize I had that little money. Reset the skill tree. Yo, that's so good. You can actually reset skill trees. I love it. This game has everything. All right, yeah, I don't care about that. What's through here? Oh, hello. You've got the, uh... This is another one of the starter animals, Slyro, if you're still here. Hey, rookie. Got your first monsters. Be careful. A lot of strong champion monsters were spotted recently. The cause of all this hubbub is unclear, but I'm determined to get to the bottom of it. Well, good luck. Do, 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 do. Hello. Want to help strengthen the Stronghold's monster army? You can donate eggs you don't need to the Stronghold. We will raise and train them. You'll get a compensatory, to re compen compensatory reward for each egg you donate. Probably butchered that. Additionally, you will increase the monster army strength with each egg you bring in. When the monster army reaches a certain strength, you will receive special rewards. Ooh! I like it. Not going to donate a monster. I like this a lot, though. But donating eggs, I was actually wondering, like, what I would do with extra eggs. And now I know. So that's very good to know. Thank you, game. This is the archive of the Keeper's Stronghold. Centuries of Monster Sanctuary history is written down in all those books. Hello, little child. I like to read about all the different monsters. Good for you. I saw all the options on the Kickstarter page. That wolf is definitely the one I want to start with. Yeah, I feel like everyone is just going to lean towards the wolf, to be honest. It seems like the obvious pick. I was leaning towards the lion myself, but chat told me to go either wolf or bird, so I chose bird. When I do my actual playthrough of this, I'll probably go with the lion, though. Oh, Chaos, how do you get a... How do you get along in the wilds by yourself? Oh, this is my mother. My mother has been here the whole time? Hi. You want to become a Keeper Master? You know me and your father both are only Keeper Rangers, so don't press yourself too much. Oh, who am I kidding? I know it's pointless to argue with you once you've set yourself a goal, and that's what makes us so proud of you. I have parents? But never forget to keep your monsters healthy. Oh, thank you, Mom. Are you my dad? Oh, hi, Dad. Hello, son. How are you doing in your endeavors as a Monster Keeper? You want to reach the highest ranks of our order? A good goal. Your god, or I want to say godfather for some reason. Your grandfather became a keeper dragoon, and that's the second highest rank in the order. So we expect no less of you, ha ha ha. But never put yourself and your monsters in unnecessary danger, you hear? Take this with you on your journeys. Thanks, dad. Got a brooch. Nice. 
Okay. Well, I'm definitely gonna become, like, master monster keeper dude eventually. What's up? This path leads to the eastern parts of the sanctuary. Those areas are more dangerous and only allowed to be explored if you reach the keeper novice rank and completed the keeper battle instructions of the keeper's tower. You never reach the required yank yet. Uh, it's a not uh, yank rank. Not accessible in the current version. So that's where the demo ends. You can't go into the eastern part yet. A game where you meet both of your parents. What? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yo, I'm going to steal this stuff. Belongs to me now. Skill resetter. Very useful. Cape. Nice. Dude, I love being able to fly with this bird. It's so good. Hello? This exit leads to the blue cave. Other keepers reported that they spotted some champion monsters down there. Okay. So we still have the blue cave. There's the frog spirit. So we still have a little bit to do in this demo, at least, which is good. Can someone put uptime in chat for me? How long have I been streaming? Can't call it stealing if you're taking it from your parents, right? I don't think that was my parents, though. Like, they just live in this building. This building seems to be the home of many people. All right, we still got, like, at least an hour. You're a rookie monster keeper, right? I'm a blacksmith of monster armor and weapons. I can upgrade equipment for you. I'll give you some materials to get started. Ah, oh, thank you. That's, oh my word, that's a lot of stuff. Use those to upgrade some of your equipment. Ah, okay. Cool. All right, this is awesome. I love this. Uh, definitely upgrade this. Use my one green gym for it. There we go. Receive a random buff at the start of combat. Receive a random buff and also get plus 10 defense. Yeah, I have plenty of the items for this. Why don't I? Bracelets. Sustain ring. Would use up all of my, uh, definitely do bracelet. Just make my bird unstoppable. Uh, I don't really want to waste any of my stuff on just a bandana. I'm going to put these claws on someone, so upgrade the claws. And then... That's pretty good. Oh, man, do I want to do the orb? I think I want to do the orb last. Boom. Alright, I still have a little more upgrade, so let's do the wizard hat. I still have more, my word. Alright, get more crit damage. And then go ahead and upgrade the shell as well. And upgrade the shell as well. There we go, just do it all. Alright, cool. Very good. Toad is okay, but not next to the other options. Yeah, I feel like Toad does look alright, but it's just like outclassed by everything else around it. I think my rankings would probably be Lion, then Bird, then Wolf, then Toad. I doubt there will be many people starting with the Toad. I might start with the Toad just to be different. I don't know. We'll see. We moved to the Sanctuary only recently. It just seems so exciting to live in a place like this. I even already caught my first monster. Congratulations. You just recently became a Monster Keeper, right? So how many monsters do you already have? I got five. Doing all right. This game seems like it's going to be good. It looks really sick. I'm looking forward to it. This is the Keeper's Tower, especially since it's going to get on the Switch. To access some of the rooms here, you need to reach a certain Monster Keeper rank. Your current rank is Keeper Aspirant. One rank. You need to defeat one more champion to ascend to the Keeper Novice rank. Oh, okay, so I just need one more champion. Seems easy enough. Hello. This is the Infinity Arena. You need to have the rank of Keeper Novice. Understood. Hi there. This is the Champion Challenge. You can fight previously defeated champion monsters here to try to achieve a better score. Oh! If you set a new record, you will get rewards you might have missed out on when fighting the champion for the first time. Okay! I like this. Yo, this is so good. They let you rematch him. Yo, let's go. Let me fight Steam Golem again. I'm going to try and uh, five-star him. All right. So we got to go with the OG lineup. Like, this is our strongest lineup right now. So, uh, obviously, first off, poison him. 100%. He's got to get poisoned on. Poison this fool. And we got him with the stun thing, too, which is great. Uh, full offense on my bird. To make him all powerful. And then we can really start to tear you apart. You're weak to win. Perfect. Get Feather Stormed. Beautiful damage. Shield level 2 will not save you. That's 145 shield. That's actually going to be really annoying to get through. Thank goodness for my shield. Alright. Now we get some armor breaking going on. We're just going to debuff this guy. Absolutely. Just debuff him all up. Go for Claws level 2. Does the most damage. There we go. So it looks like the stun thing just makes it where, like, every time you hit them, they get some extra damage added on, which is great. That crit is beautiful. 
Oh, we're gonna kill him, like, next turn, if not the turn after. And we've taken, like, no damage so far. Ah, uh, well, spoke too soon. I'm gonna have to heal off that damage, because I need a high HP to get the points I need. Actually, I think I can afford this much damage if it lets me kill him this time. But I don't think I'm gonna kill him is the problem. Pretty 418 welcome to the stream. Glad to have you here. Hello. The music is cool. Yeah, music's pretty good. All right, this is gonna kill him. Let's go. We did get him this turn. Perfect. Also, looks like I got some uh, good overkill. Yes, I got five stars. Let's go. New record score. We got the egg for him. Yes. Yo. Time for names, chat. Steam Golem Egg. Check him out. All right, what are we naming this bad boy? It's Armored Monkey, basically. What name we think? Yo, I just saw that I have a red Gatorade right here. I totally forgot a red Gatorade. Now, nah, words, I got a red Gatorade before streaming. Thank goodness. Ah, that is wonderful. I love Gatorade. Frank, Valve because Steam? That's actually not bad, Michael. Skell, Skell is also really good. Nice Xenoblade 2 shout out. Yo, Alphonse. It has to be done. Do you spell Alphonse with an F? I thought it was PH. How do you spell Alphonse from Alchemist? Full Metal Alchemist. Is it not like this? Is it with an F? Yeah, someone else has said Alphonse now. I could have sworn that you spelled it with a PH. Is it with an F? Am I wrong? I'm going to Google it. I ain't going to mess this up. Probably just type Alchemist Alphonse. Yeah, it's with a PH. I thought so. Thank you, Slyro. Alright, Alphonse it is, because that's just like perfect. Has to be done. Five skill points. Let's go. Alright. Got the heavy punch. That's a lot of damage. While under the effect of a shield, player monsters deal 10% increased damage. Ooh. At the start of the combat, apply a shield equal to 100% of the attack value. Okay, this is sick. Stone rain. Okay, well, I want an earth move, definitely. So give me that first. I think I want both of these. And then, like, I want stone rain to be stronger. And then... Improved mana regeneration sounds sick. And also, it'll give us a fire move to go that down this route. Yeah, let's just get his last move unlocked. That'll work. Okay, well, let's uh, let's see if we can do any better on the monk as well. When you get the egg, you just get the monster right away? Yes. All you have to do is get the egg. But the egg is hard to get, so you have to get high ranking to uh, get stuff. For every star ranking you get, it gives you a higher percentage chance of getting rare items. So, like, a four-star ranking, you have a 50% chance of getting a rare item. And eggs are always rare items from what I've seen. Uh, Five-star gives you a 100% chance, but I'm pretty sure you can get rare items that aren't the eggs necessarily. So they're not, like, really difficult to get, but they're not, like, they're not easy. You gotta work for them. You only have six slots. Where do your other monsters go when you get them? I have no idea. We'll find out, I guess. I also like the system, Slyro. It seems pretty good. We're gonna keep with the A team for this. For now. So, obviously, first up, get the poison on there. Poison is OP in this game so far. I love it. Alright, then we're going to full offense bird boy. The PC box, obviously. What console or device is this on? It's going to come out on PC and Switch. Weak to Earth, you resist wind, so I want to use Explosion. Good damage. Alright, easy chew. This time I have to be careful that I don't accidentally lose one of my monsters all of a sudden. Alright. I'm going to Acid Rain. I'm going to play this a little risky for the sake of winning fast enough to get the boost stuff. Then I'm going to regenerate so we can all keep healthy. And then explode again, obviously. I need to win this in like five turns or less to make this work. Just a normal attack. Huh? Stop attacking Larry! Okay, good. That's not Larry. That freeze punch is so good. Alright. I gotta keep Larry alive, so I'm going to take this turn to heal him. Dude, my heal is so strong. It cannot be stopped. 
It is the heal that will pierce the heavens. I'm going to full offense Mona as well. Even though that's another turn of not attacking, I think it'll work out in the long run. Look at that damage. It is so good. That lightning punch is too strong. I need it to stop. All right. Regen should get most of our health back. Yeah, that's good. That's good. All right. This turn, we just go all out. We might be able to kill him this turn, actually, which would be fantastic if we did. That crit might be enough. Yo, it's going to be close. Actually, I think he dies to poison. We got him. He's dead. Poison kill. Let's go. That was like four or five turns. I just came short of five stars. Literally like 70 points away. Uh, it's such a letdown. I bet it would have given me his egg too if I had won it. All right. We'll come back to that later. I want to make sure uh, we might come back to it later. I think I've only got like an hour, maybe a little more than an hour left. Oh, I have to be high ranked, right? But uh, that is really cool that you can rebattle all the champions to get their eggs and stuff. I love it. But uh, I want to make sure that we go through all of the demo in this stream. So I want to continue on with the other... Go through the blue cave. It looks like the blue cave is the last thing we can do. Go through the blue... I'm pretty sure we went through most, if not all, of the keeper trails. And then uh, once we get through the blue cave... Yo, wait a minute. What does a monkey do? It's a super punch. Okay. That might break those uh, walls that I saw before that I didn't know how to get through. What's up? Hello, fellow Spectral Keeper. Did you hear the rumors? They say there's an unusual amount of champion monsters around. Mysterious, isn't it? Wouldn't it be awesome if we managed to hunt one down? That would grant us quite some respect in the keep. Perhaps I might even be able to discern the cause of this rise in champion monsters. Might be an unnatural phenomenon. I hatched my first monsters only recently, though. I studied monsters and stuff for some years, but I still have some troubles. So I think we should support each other. The two other Spectral Keepers have an advantage on us. Leonard is a bit older, so he already gathered some experience. Julia started as a monster keeper at a very young age, so she has more experience than us as well. They're both already keeper lancers, and we're just keeper aspirants. That means they're four ranks above us. Oh, my word. But since there's many more champions around than usually, we might catch up with them eventually. All right, cool. Who are you? Are you Julia? No, you're Leonard. Hey, what are you doing in here? It's dangerous in the blue caves. Don't you have any grasp of what's going on? Now, there are three of the four of us here. Of course, the Toad user is a nerd. I wonder which spectral monster he has if I had chosen Toad, though. Because he would have to have one of the different ones, I assume. Maybe they, maybe all three of them have a default one, and then they just switch with, uh, they switch yours with whichever one you pick, if you do. We're going after those champion monsters, that's not the right task for some greenhorns. That's very rude of you. We will see. All right, goodbye. Fool. Foolish fool. Something tells me that we should watch out for Will. Leonard, on the other hand, I hope that you'll surpass him in rank at some point. Wouldn't hurt his ego. Yeah, I got it. Don't worry. Ooh. I like these monsters. Let's try and get some A ranks here, boys. All right, weak to water and fire. So, knowing that they're weak to water and fire, I definitely think that I should go uh, Larry... Wiggle Warm, Antelos. Alright. Nice opening shock. I wish I had another water user because there are two that are weak to water, but what are you going to do? Alright, that's good. That's good. I'm going to ignite this fool. Get him burned early. Wait, your monsters talk? Yeah, I think only the monster ones do, like Michael said. Only the starter ones, I mean. Let's get you out of here, hopefully. I was hoping for a crit. Didn't get it. Isn't Chaos a nerd? How dare you? Maybe? That did a lot of damage. Okay. Let's poison you. Should be able to win this in, uh, you resist that. Should be able to win this in, uh, three turns. Hopefully. Can I kill you this turn? Yeah, I can. Easily. Get lightning. No, no, no. Do Feather Storm. It'll do more. Hopefully give me a, uh, a bonus. The uh, overkill stuff. Please get Grummy. These are called Tengu. Was Grummy the green thing I killed, I guess? That damage. All right, we got to heal that off. Dude, upping the healing ability was such a good call. We heal so easily. Unfortunately, now I don't think I'm going to kill it this turn. I'm going to need one more turn. Those crits might give me enough, though. Oh, no. Crit. Crit, crit, crit. No. It's so close. Oh, it died of poison. Let's go. 
four or five star. Four star, I'll take it. 50% chance, let's go. Tengu egg, ah, oh, not the one Michael wanted. That's what happens, Michael, when you, uh, when you want things in life. Should have thought twice before wanting things. <laughs> not grummy. All right, what do I want here? What are these over here? Every attack triggers an additional 25% damage hit. Mass attacks hit the enemy with most health. Mass attacks hit the enemies with most health. So there is something called mass attacks, Michael, in the world that uh, hits multiple enemies at once. What happens when you have more than six monsters? We're about to find out in just a second. Um, let's first upgrade. Let's just upgrade Featherstorm. And then Mona. For you, I don't really need you to have the healing move. First hit of an attack has 25% increased critical hit chance. That'd be really useful because I was upping your crit chances. Right. All right. Well, let's just up that again so you're a crit monster. Oh, no. Wait. No. I meant to do heroism. I completely forgot about that. Absolutely. I need to do that next level up. Okay. Uh, inventory. Tengu egg. I've hatched it. I already know what I'm going to name this one because uh, I am an anime nerd, aka a weeb. Is this how you spell this? I think it is. The uh, Susano from Naruto is based off of the Tengu Warriors. Oh, he's down at the bottom left right there, but I don't know what that means. Okay, so I bet I can just put him into the main party, and then he can be among the ones that I choose between. Okay. Interesting. There has to be some kind of a limit to that. Flame Strike. I already have that. I already have a high-level fire move. Two high-level fire moves. In that case, give me an Earth-style move. Yes, this is very good. Are these all these are all magical, it looks like? Yeah, explosion is physical, but I don't want explosion. I want I want all these magic ones. Increases attack and magic by 10% of max of monsters maximum mana. Yes. And then level that up, and then uh give me just a magic boost. Nice. I guess it's like your PC, except for that it's with you at all times. I'm assuming only the six in your party get experience. That's what I'm expecting, too. So let's uh, test that theory here in just a second. Uh, I'm going to keep Susano in as my fire dude instead of Wiggle Warm, I think. I can't take out... Uh... Wait, wait a minute. What does Susano do for his overworld move? Yeah, he also... Okay, so I'd rather have Susano than uh, Wiggle Warm. I need a key. Blue cave key required. Okay, makes sense. Give me a give me a bird to walk around with. Yeah, glide. Yeah, dude, I love the Metroidvania aspects of this game. It's such a nice touch. It just gives you something else to enjoy doing while in between fights. There's the blue cave key. That was a lot easier than expected. Probably only allowed an extra six, maybe from the looks of it. Maybe. There's got it, but there's gonna be like 80 plus monsters in the final game. There has to be some way of keeping more of them overall. All right, Michael really wants me to get this green boy. All right, this should be easier this time because there are two that are weak to fire. So we're going to uh, we're gonna roll. I need Larry for water damage because he's my only water attacker, and then Susano and Antelos for more fire damage. Also because of their shields, they're less likely to get hit. All right, so let's, you're the biggest problem because you're not weak to fire, so I'm going to poison you right out the gate. Poison you immediately. Next, we just start burning these guys to death. Dude, I love that fireball move. All right, goodbye to you. I need to kill someone early, even though it's going to cost me some overkill points because I need to take a little damage. Acid rain level two is not good. Thank you, shield. No! Oh, dude! Well, there you go, Michael. There's a move that hit everyone. So they do exist. Let's Acid Rain you. Because I need you dead, like, already. Fireball level 1 you. And then get you really low with this. And then I'll overkill you with my next explosion. And hopefully be able to kill him as well, thanks to the poison. Kill the Tengu, I mean. We'll see. Oh, it's gonna poison me. That's bad. Stop hitting everyone, you nerd. I think it's worth making sure I get the kill this turn instead of healing. So, hit you. More than likely going to be a form of storage and that you can bring extras as reserves. Yeah, that's what I think. Probably. See you, Chaos. I gotta go. See you later, Christmas Narrow. Thanks for dropping by, dude. 
See you around. All right, Poison Bomb is pretty sick. This is going to kill you and give me some overkill, and then that guy's going to die to poison. I'll finish in like three turns. Hopefully that's enough to give me at least four stars. Yep, four stars. 50% chance. Got the Grummy Egg. Let's go, Michael. We did it. I did it for you. All right. I want... Now, this is fine. Set up how it is. All right. Grummy Egg. Go. You're like an Earth-style attacking dude. What are we naming Grummy, guys? What do we want for this monster's name? Name it Cutie. Oh, Michael. Where's my Gatorade? More like crummy. Yo, just to make Michael mad. Let's go. Yes, <laughs> sad face. All right. Five skill points. What are we doing with you? Are you a magic attacker? Looks like it. Oh, he has two attacks on this opening thing. That's weird. I haven't seen that before. Oh, he's got them on all of them. That's really strange. He'll target for three times 50 magic value. Okay, so he's a healer. So, yeah. Learn Restore. Oh, and it also removes a debuff. Okay, it's a special kind of heal. I like this. Acid Rain level 2 for a little more damage. Would applying a debuff trigger an additional 30% damage hit? Absolutely. Okay, so this is this guy is similar to... Uh, he's a healer debuffer, just like uh, Larry is. Okay. So I'm going to up his healing ability then, to make him better at healing, and then I'm going to let him take Larry's spot for a little bit, because we've had Larry since the start. I wonder if you can get duplicate monsters. Good question. I would assume so. Move platform up. What? It's gotta be affecting the- Oh, that other room is right beneath me. It's affecting the plat- I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. So I want this to be down. That down probably a little bit. This up. Michael's next playthrough, Monster Sanctuary, Grummy solo run. Yo, I'd watch it. Do it, Michael. Bird! Ah, ah, no! All right, middle one's got to come up. The others are fine. Middle one's got to come up, though. Middle one's got to come up. Yo, Sly Michael, are we going to get in any calls today since are you both available? I know that RTK isn't because it's his uh, choo-choo day. You could have made that? Maybe. But I'll definitely make it now. Good thing fall damage doesn't exist totally. Maybe my roommate is watching NASCAR with his GF. What is wrong with your roommate watching, like, every sport in existence? If you can even call NASCAR a sport, really. Also, why does he always do it in your guys' room? Tell him to go to his girlfriend's room or something for once. All right. This sucks because they're all weak to water and I have, like, no water users. So, actually, I'm just gonna, like, bail. Smoke bomb. Hello, chest. Ribbon plus two. Really good. You guys don't have equipment yet, do you? No? Alright. Give you that. Wait, what, what did that give you? Mana. Oh, this would give you mana plus crit chance. Yeah, mana is good for you. And then, uh, take a shell to keep defended. Cool. Uh, Susano? Uh, what weapon? Are you- you're not a physical attacker, you're a magic attacker. Who's a physical attacker? You? No, you're magic. You're a physical. Yeah, give him the claws. Then you can take the cape. And this is a magic buffing thing? Yeah, kinda. That's mana. Mana is good for everyone, though. Alright, you know what? Take that and that. And then you- there's no weapon for you, unfortunately. You just take all three of these, whatever. What if you broke the TV while they're not looking? There you go. Good plan. Nope. Mine. Qatar. Alright, that's another weapon right there. No, it's an attacking weapon, though. I don't want an attacking... Or a, a physical attacking weapon, I mean. I need a magic attacking weapon for him. See you later, Susano. 
Where's my next champion fight? Ooh, Mushroom Boys. Yo, Shroom Raver, let's go. Alright, everyone is weak to fire. This is gonna be easy. Let's go with Alphonse, Susano, and Antelos. We're just gonna fire these guys into oblivion. Kill the weakest one first so he doesn't get a chance to attack. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, this is the move that hits all enemies. Sick, do it. Flame strike, son. Dude, the animations in this game are actually pretty sick. Overkill time. Beautiful. I like that random encounters are pretty much always optional if you're good enough. Yeah, I also really like that. No, not poison, dang it. Spore, don't put me to sleep. No, it gives me weakness, apparently. Okay. Interesting. All right, you gotta go next. Fireball is not gonna get a kill. Let's just make you as weak as possible to get a lot more overkill points. All right, and I've definitely got this in three turns. Hopefully he doesn't hit Susano. That's really unfortunate. I needed him to not get hit. Because now his health is so low and I can't really heal him at all, can I? Not really. All right, well, let's just get you as low on HP as I can for the explosion. Do you have good IVs? Oh, Michael. All right, hopefully we get a rank four on this at least, despite the HP loss. 78% HP is still pretty good. So close off, oh, I just hadn't gotten hit that other time, I probably would have had a five star. Dang it. Didn't get a, didn't get a shroom egg. Rip. Can I get this with the, uh, nope. Rip. What are all of my abilities right now? You're fire shot, yeah. What is, uh, what do you do? You're a bubble guy, okay. Just like Larry. He's probably just Larry's distant cousin. All right. Go this way. Got more shrooms to fight, maybe. Get this chest, and then I am going to fight them for the experience. Battle ring plus one. Nice. I'll uh, equip that to someone right now who needs it. Nope. 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 Yes. There we go. Bring it on, shroom boys. You going down. All right. Again, everyone's weak to fire, so I'm just going to go, like, all out fire at the start and hopefully kill them fast enough that I don't need anything else. Plus, all these guys have shields. Always kill the one with the static effect first because he dies easier. There's a crack in the wall. Oh, did I miss something? I'll go back and look at it. Overkill. Beautiful overkill points. Very nice. I need to try and win this next turn if I can. Yes, please hit the bird. He's got the biggest shield. No, stop poisoning Tengu. Every time. Poison is too good in this game. Please crit. Yes, okay. Please crit again. So close. Rip. It's gonna take three turns and I'm gonna lose more HP. Don't hit. Okay, good. Hit him. He's got a shield. That's fine. Lose a little more to poison, but, you know, nothing I can do about that, really. Uh, I just want to do your explosion, because it's going to do the most. There we go. Behind the chest. I will go and look. Thank you for pointing it out. I have not been paying attention to that at all. Uh, yes, five star. 100% rare loot chance. Fun guy egg. Let's go. And some level ups. All right, let's go back over here first. Oh, you're right. How did I miss this? Where's, uh... Punch Boy. Yeah. Well done, Alphonse. Hello. Vital Ring 2. That is a lot of HP. Alright, Fungi Egg. I already know what I'm going to name this one. I gotta name it Dave. It's my boy Shroom Raver. My boy Dave. No. There we go. Alright. Skill stuff. Clutch Nixon. Let's give you... Let's finally unlock your other move over here so we can get to all these other abilities. Antelos? Oh, you're level 10 now. You can go uh, further beyond? No, you're level 8. I don't know why I thought that this was available already. I just looked at it and was like, hey, can I click that now? No, no, I cannot. Uh, I think crit chance seems the most useful because I like crits. Alphonse? I think I want to make your fire punch better. No, you know what? You've been have you run out of mana after like two turns. 
So I'm going to give him plus mana regeneration. He needs it. All right. And then you have six skill points, my word. Yo, let's just go ahead and unlock all of your moves before I even read anything else. 10% chance to poison. Sounds like it could be useful, but I also feel like I probably have moves that auto poison anyway. Yes. Applying debuffs is great. Absolutely, that seems really good. Poison debuff can be stacked up to three times. Absolutely, that seems broken. And so I'm just going to up the poison move as a result. So let's put you in in place of Clutch Nixon, because I haven't been using him anyways, and I have another bird. What do you do? Oh, dude, that's sick. I don't know what that's going to be used for, but it's sick. Does man and health regen outside of battle? I'm pretty sure it goes to max at every fight. You always start at full, if I'm not mistaken. Hello. Red gym. Very useful. And this? Cestus plus one. That's a good weapon. This is for just attack. You use magic. Take the Cestus. And do I have anything here? Battle ring two. Beautiful. Who else? Susano, you needed a weapon, didn't you? Yeah, but you need magic as well. Rip. I have too many magic attackers. Oh, hello there. What are you doing, Leonard? Stand back and watch how a real keeper manages a wild monster. It's literally just a slime, though. Fungi is a serious tank. Looks like it. Another glorious victory. Haha. -ha. Dude, it was just a single slime. No need to get all proud about it. Okay. Yo, this demo does have a lot of stuff available. I am very impressed. Got a teleporter, which is good. What's through here? Oh, it's a monk who isn't a champion. Okay. It is a very extensive demo. It's got a lot going for it. I can't wait to see the full game. Oh, no. Just missed. All right. Monks are weak to earth. So I'm going to want Dave up front. Uh, Grummy is weak to fire, so I'm going to have Antelos for that. So I guess I want Crummy. Let's do this. Dude, I love getting to choose your three at the very start. It's so good. All right. Poison bomb you. Get the poison going. Get absolutely shroomed on, son. Easy poison. Slime shot will do a lot. Dude, you can stack the poison so well. Oh, it's amazing. And now I want to damage you a lot. I want to see how much this poison is going to do to him at plus two. Oh, it actually just does the effect twice. That's broken. How dare you heal him? Uh, thank you for hitting the one who has so much shield. No, not lightning punches. Crummy, no. All right, now... I'm going to hit you with one more poison, and then you should just die to the poison. Yeah, triple poison. You're super dead. So now, let's go ahead and poison you up. Get level one poison on you, and then this guy is super dead to explosion. Goodbye. It's been real. Nice and overkill. And I need to get a good overkill hit on this last one. All right, poison is definitely broken. And Dave has actually just made it even more broken. I haven't lost that much HP, so I think I just want to win from here if I can. Deal as much damage as possible, so my final move does a lot to you. Nice and crit. Uh, Yeah, Acid Rain. It'll do good damage and give him lower defense for this final blow. And then, uh, yeah, burn. There we go. Easy. Yeah, this game seems great. I cannot wait for it to come out. Like, actually. Four star, I'll take it. Still no monk egg, unfortunately. Got two level ups, though. And yeah, it does look like the three in the back here are not getting experience, which makes sense. Got all those crit chance ups. First hit of an attack has a 25% increased critical hit chance. Seems like a good idea to me. No, I forgot again that I need to get this stupid heroism, because it's good, but I forget every time. How do I always do that? I'm actually going to, like, run out of stuff to level up on. Oh, no, I can unlock Explosion. But I don't want Explosion because that's, like, a magic attack. I don't need magic on you. Let's get Poison Bomb even better for now. Yo, Dave seems great. Yeah, status effects seem like something you really want to focus on. Fine. Got another blue cave key. Okay. Well, let's go back and then go upwards. 
Can I make this? Not quite. We're gonna have to go around. Been live for two hours and 20 minutes. We still got a little under an hour then. I'm trying to avoid a couple of fights now so I can try and go quicker and get through the rest of the demo. Because I'm pretty sure once we're done here in Blue Cave, we're done. This is where the door was. Okay. So that's probably the way I need to go. Dude, that little wisp thing, by the way, I want one. That looked sick. But I want to go up here really quickly. I want to try and check out... Maybe not everything, but the majority of the demo before I wrap up today. Because I doubt I'll stream it again. I've got too much other stuff coming up that I need to stream. Nice and shell, too. That's a good item. Equip that to Dave because he's already stupid tanky. So let's just make him unkillable. Oh, no, I don't have the bird. <laughs> I realized a second too late that I had my Tengu out. I can't reach up there. Even with a bird. All right, well, we're going down then, boys. All right, I want to fight this wisp thing. This game has got a lot of good stuff going for it. I love it. All right, so weak to earth and wind. So, I mean, I think Dave, Crummy, and Antelope seem like the call again, to be honest. Well, that thing has some shield on it automatically, too. Okay. All right, well, killing these guys by poison really quickly seems like the way to go. So we're going to double up on poisoning them. Dave seems like a really good monster, which I love, and I'm sure that Shroom will love that information as well. All right, I can kill you in two turns by doing this. Yeah, I should have you next turn, no problem. Unfortunately, he is not dead to poison, but I can easily kill him next. I don't think I'm going to be able to get this in three turns, or in two turns. I mean, it's going to have to be in three. Not the bubble burst. Wish they would hit my shield boy a bit more. All right. Kill you with poison bomb. And then we're going to go ahead and poison you a little bit. Get that poison damage going because it's great. And then you are super dead. Give me some overkill points. Oh, dude, those last two crits are great. Great for overkill. Thank you for hitting him of all people. It's very useful. All right, poison bomb. Beautiful damage. Uh, slime Shot will do a little bit more, but I'm going to use Acid Rain to lower his defense. I assume that's what Armor Break does. Just curious, when will the next Hyrule Warrior stream be happening? Uh, I was supposed to stream it last Tuesday, but I got sick, and so I couldn't. So I really don't know when, because Hitman is coming out. Oh, man, sorry, I'm stretching. I'd either stream it on... Because I'm streaming Hitman on Tuesday. And Monday, it was either going to be Hyrule Warriors or Mario Kart, and I'm not sure which one I'm going to do. It's going to be one or the other, but I'm not sure which. And I think I might do Hyrule Warriors. I'm not sure. We'll see. So maybe Monday, if not, then probably not for another week and a half. Frosty Egg. All right. That little spike thing must have been called, or a little wisp thing must have been called Frosty. Get him. Dude, that is so awesome. I love this. What are we naming this, guys? What are we naming Frosty? But yeah, since I didn't get to stream Hyrule Warriors Tuesday, I might stream it this coming Monday and then save Mario Kart for later and do another stream of that later because, I don't know. I'll be streaming both of them for a long time. Jack for Jack Frost. Classic. We'll go with that. Because I don't really have time to wait for a bunch of names to come in. I want to get through this. All right, skills, crummy. Uh, make your slime shot better, because that's your go-to move. And then for you, you got six skill points. Whoa, you got a lot. Water. Good, I finally have another water attacker. Thank goodness. Get a neutral move so you don't have to rely entirely on water. Every attack triggers an additional hit with base damage equal to 50% of own defense. Yes. And then ice hail level two. Every hit has a 10% chance of applying chill. Trigger an additional 100% damage hit when applying chill debuff. You know what? Just give me both of those. And then... Applies barrier to the whole team? Dude, I wish I'd noticed that sooner. I would have been doing that a lot. I'm going down this route from here on. It's just wondering due to different time zones. It's fair. They always end up on YouTube, if nothing else. I already uploaded the first stream, VOD. It's just really unfortunate that I got sick that one day. 
If I hadn't, then I would have streamed it last Tuesday, and then that VOD probably would have gone up over the weekend. Uh, we haven't used Mona in a little while. Let's put Jack in, because I need a water attacker badly. Belt plus two. All right, well, you know what? I'm just going to throw that on Jack, just so he has something. And, uh, you use magic, don't you? You look like a magic user. Yeah, absolutely magic, so don't want to give you the thing that weakens magic. Bam, 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 bam. Double jump boots allows an additional jump midair. What? What, dude? They actually have, like, upgrades and stuff. I mean, it's a Metroidvania. Of course they would. But still, that's sick. I thought all of the extra, like, maneuverability things would have come purely from uh, having, having creatures along. But you can actually just get other abilities in the overworld that your character just has. That's sick. I love it. I thought that the Metroidvania would be minimum and the monster taming would be the main thing, but they're doing great with both of them. This is awesome. Dark Fang, thank you so much for subscribing, man. I appreciate it. Unfortunately, I don't have any emotes or sub badges at the moment, but I will be getting them in the future. Actually, uh, tomorrow during the Coliseum stream and then Sunday... I thought I already had a key. And then Sunday during the uh, Persona 5 stream that I'm doing over the weekend, I'm going to be talking with chat a lot about... Uh, Emotes, what emotes, uh, words, what emotes we want to get and sub badges and whatnot. Because I do, everyone who's subbed to me right now is a tier one, which I don't really expect people to get tier two or tier three subs to me, but I do have, I've got one slot for each of the tiers, so I do need to come up with a, uh, a sub slot or a, an emote for each of them. But uh, otherwise, it'll just be everyone will be getting the one because everyone is a tier one sub right now who is subbed, but you know. We'll see how all it works. I don't think affiliates can get... I was looking into it earlier. I'm pretty certain affiliates, unless it's changed and the stuff I read was outdated, affiliates cannot earn more emotes. You have to just become... Uh, you have to become a partner to be able to turn, like, sub points into more emotes. Uh, hello. Huh? Who are you then? Might be dangerous to continue in this direction, especially for such a young one. Ha 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 ha. Okay. That's weird. That was a strange one. I think I've seen his mask before. My memory gets a little foggy when I try to remember something from another century. Might be worth investigating. Yeah, it's really creepy. Let's keep going forward for now. Oh, hey, Will. Oh, dude, that monster looks sick. The That's a champion monster. I, I don't think I'm ready for this. I have an idea. I'll stay at a distance to study its behavior. Uh, hi there. Let's go. Uh, you are weak to fire. Dude, I got some bad news for you. I am all about fire. I'm gonna bring Dave to spam poison and then Susano and Antelos for fire. So let's go. Alright, we're gonna just poison the heck out of you, boy. Even though you resist it, all that matters is getting the poison on you. Alright, and then we get some fireballs going. Burn him up. Explosion! Dude, look at this damage. This is beautiful. All of these stat debuffs just... Getting in there. Full offense, that's really scary. That's the buff that Mona uses. Yeah, it did a lot. That almost went entirely through my shield. That is scary. I just realized I don't have any healers either. Typical chaos. I'm going full offense instead to, dry, uh, words, to try and just kill him first. Which may work out for me, hopefully. I mean, I've already got him at about half. Yeah, with the poison damage, that's basically half. I am really worried about my HP stat, though. Alright. We're okay. We're okay. One more poison go to get the level 3 poison on him. And then I gotta use fireball level 1 now, unfortunately. Still got explosion level 2, though. I recover enough to be able to stick to level 2 fire, which is good. Poison damage. Three hits of it. Ah, oh, beautiful. I might be able to kill him next turn if I get a lucky crit. He, thankfully, was pretty low on mana. Oh, dear. All right, this is fine. Now I should do something that does more damage, I guess. Beating, maybe. If only fire could stack. Yeah, that would be great. Fireball, please, crit. Even though you're only level one. All right, damage is damage. Rule number one of the Chaos Handbook, the best defense is an overwhelming offense. Exactly. Unfortunately, he is going to live through this, but I should be able to kill him next. He doesn't have much. Well, now he has a good bit of MP. Never mind. Yeah, if he doesn't heal any, I got him on the next one. No, my bird! I needed that. Maybe now I can't kill him. Oh, this is bad. Uh, Dave? 
It's up to you, but it's fine because he's just poisoned to all heck. I think he dies to poison, actually. Let's go! None can defeat Dave. Alright, unfortunately, only three stars. That's still decent enough. Sadly, we're not going to get his egg. But whatever. You ascended to keep her novice rank. Enemy minimum level raised to 10. Oh, the enemies have to be, are now all a minimum level of 10? That's really cool, actually. That, so that way that they, like, keep up your, that you keep up the enemy level so you can still get good experience. That's really cool. Infinity Arena is now available in the Keeper Stronghold. New items available at Traders. That's, that's awesome. Someone is trying to call me even though they should know I'm streaming? Wow, you did it. You're braver than me. I thought I was prepared for it, but once I saw this champion, I felt paralyzed. By the way, did you also meet the suspicious person earlier? Yeah, I did. You two are still here? Did you find any champion monsters? Yep, beat one up. Yes, Chaos just defeated one by himself. What? You must have confused it with the regular monster. Nah, man, I gotta rank up and everything. What a big-headed guy. Anyway, I will go back to the keep to try and find something out about the suspicious person we met. I bet the suspicious person thing is, like, story for the other. This is the end of the story in the demo. Thanks for playing. Yep, perfect. There's still a bit more to explore. Also, if you've found and beat three out of the four champions in this demo, you can unlock the Infinity Arena and the Keeper Stronghold. I... Did I beat three or four? I beat three, right? Yeah, I've only beaten three, so there's another one somewhere that I haven't defeated that we need to find. Let's try and find that last champion. And then, uh, this is perfect, though, because we got basically as far as I wanted to. So let's try and find this last champion and beat it. Oh, hello. I might not be able to dodge these guys, but I did. Never mind. Let's try and find this last champion and beat it. And explore a bit more. And then maybe go look at the Infinity Arena before I wrap up the stream for today. Easy dodges, boys. In here? No, this is just some chests, which is still good. Pair, nice. And, uh, obtain two level 10 badge. Increases monster level by one for one monster below level 10. Yo, so they're like rare candies, but you can't use them on things that are already really low level. That's sick. I'm gonna use these. Uh, let's get Jack up one level. And then, uh... Let's get Susano up one level. There we go. That's really cool. If it wasn't for the fact that this was a demo and I don't plan to ever play the demo again after today, I'm just going to wait for the game to come out, then I wouldn't have used those so immediately. Your weakness debuff is actually pretty good. Let's level that up. Uh, Susano, with your level up. I wish you were level 10 so I could get to that other good stuff. Let's go ahead and unlock this just so that I have the pathway open for it. Jack... For Jack, I wanted all this stuff over here, because he's, like, really good. Applies barrier buff to whole team, applies channel to last monster. Applying buff also applies shield equal to 10% of this monster's mass max health. Uh, this one for the whole team first, and then buffing shield is next on the list. For Alphonse, I want to make your fire punch better, I think. Spell shield buff? 25%. Oh, dude, that's really good. Do that. Will you play the actual game on stream? Absolutely. When the game releases, I plan to play it on stream, 100%. That will be the plan. I'll do an actual playthrough of it, and I'll put uh, I'll put it all up on YouTube as well. It'll be a lot of fun. Do, 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 do. I don't know when the game releases, though. I think it's later in 2019. We'll wait and see. Do I like... Uh, oh, okay. You just go all the way underwater. Do I drown? Bird can still work underwater somehow? Oh, I have double jump, you idiot. Double jump. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Get me up out of here first. What does uh, you do? Alright, you're just like a bird. Okay. Alright, sick. I want to fall into the water thing to get this. Feather plus two. Nice. Just give that to Jack so someone has it. Uh, mana regen and crit chance. Yeah, it's fine. And then uh, Dave, give you some crit chance. Why not? Do, 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 do. And I should be able with the double jump and... Uh, Jack here, aka no winged bird, should be able to make it all the way over here. Yeah, we good. Where is this other champion? Not right here. Ah, oh, dang it, almost made it over. Whatever, that's fine. Uh, so I want bird and earth. Dave, obviously, and then uh, Antelos. I guess crummy than Antelos. Yeah, do it like this. All right. Curse you guys and your shields. Alright, kill the monk first, because he's a pain. 
Get him with that poison. Poison him up real good. Wait, wait, wait. Slime shot. Get poisoned on. Easy. And then, uh... This is just gonna do a ton to you so I can kill you next turn with an overkill. Nice crit at the end. Very good. It'll be easy to get overkill on him. Because I still don't have a monk egg, so if I could get a monk egg here, that'd be great. Really hate that you have heal level 3. That's annoying. Oh, that's another hits everyone move. Okay. What does chill do? What is the chill debuff? Monsters lose 20% mana when applied. Mana regeneration. Oh, that's terrible. Get him, Dave. I don't think... You're not going to die to the poison even after this. That's really annoying. Because that stupid level 3 heal. I can kill you at least. I should definitely have him next turn. I'm going to get a lot of overkill points for this one, I think. So close! No, stop healing. Well, at least you're not hitting my team. So that's something. You didn't... Your health is a lot lower. Oh my word! That He got four hits and killed me! I did not think that he would get that many hits. That's insane. All right, well, we're definitely not getting a high rank off of this then. I need you to be dead. If you don't mind. It would really mean a lot to me. All right, thank goodness. Now you just got to get past this guy, but I don't have my... My main way of hitting him was with the bird, but now I don't have it. Which is less than ideal. Well, fall back on the age-old strategy of poison him a lot. Yo, get this chill thing off of me with restore level two. There we go. Very nice. No! Don't shield, you nerd. Alright, that actually didn't give him too much shield. Just gotta stockpile this poison on him and we'll have him out of here in no time. Cast, do you watch DBZ Abridged? Yes, yes I do. I've watched every episode in every movie, I think. Pretty sure I've seen it all. Alright, hopefully we can kill this dude this turn. With the three poison. Get Spored on. Nice and weakness. And then, uh... A Slime Shot seems good enough. He's gonna live. That's annoying. Definitely got him next turn, though. Yeah, good luck ever killing Dave. He is the most tankiest of tanks of all time. Alright, goodbye. It's been real. We're gonna get a horrible rank on this one. That was terrible. Had way more trouble than I thought. Yeah, star one. Nice. Hey, level ups, though. That's all that really matters. I've almost got level 10s. Yes. I wonder if I actually want to save... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to save skill points then because these guys are about to be level 10 and then I can get their level 10 stuff. That seems like a better idea. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Ah, the other champion. It is like super deadly purple skeleton man. This is scary. Okay, the Spectre. He's level 11. This is going to be rough. What are you... What is... You're weak to magic. And you resist physical moves. So I want magic attackers specifically. So Dave. Susano is magic. And then Jack is magic, I think. So let's go with these three for magic. Full on. Get poisoned on. Alright, yeah, it's very effective. Nice. Start stacking up that poison early. Stack up that poison early. Already at two levels of poison. Perfect. And then I think safe cast. Yeah, like, do this. Let's get some shields going. My boy Jack is just going to defend us. No, that's not what I thought it was. I thought it would be the little shield thing, but that is not what it does at all. Oh, thank goodness I resist that because that did a ton of damage. All right, so he's a fire attacker. That's really bad. I might have a bad matchup in hindsight against this guy. I didn't realize what I needed. Select level. Oh, right. Yeah, fire doesn't do much. Just keep with this, I guess. I don't really think there's anything I can do to, like, keep my boy alive here. What is barrier buff? Receive 20% less damage. It's not what I thought it would do. That's bad. Well, just do this for damage, I guess. Nice and spectral frame. A frame? Flame? Words? I can use words. Alright. As usual, I think poison is going to bail me out of this. Stop burning me, please. 
All right, yep, there goes Jack already. That's bad. This is not looking good. I haven't lost a fight yet, but I think this is going to be the first one. It's purple papyrus. Nice. Yeah, my team composition was not as good as I thought it would be. Yep, there goes Susano. All right, well, Dave, it's up to you, my dude. I just want you to know that you're going to lose, and I don't blame you at all. I was not prepared for this fight at all. Let's see what happens when you lose a fight in this game. This guy is way stronger than all the other champions we fought. Oh, you just continue on as normal? I bet that's not how it's going to be in the final game. Uh, Maybe if I bring Larry... Jack died too fast. He's not going to help here. Clutch Nixon, what are your abilities again? Beating, might... Oh, yeah, you give the attacking buffs. Probably should have had Alphonse or a healer instead of Jack. Yeah, I'm definitely going to take Larry this time. I think I still want Dave because poison is going to be the main way I kill him. And then I guess Crummy? No, you're weak to fire. Don't bring people that are weak to fire except for Dave. Dave is the only weak to fire person. You resist wind. Do I have anyone who resists fire? Yeah, my bird resists fire. But he doesn't use magic is the problem. Because he resists physical attacks. Well, you have this magic attack, so I guess I could just level this up with your one skill point you got. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's level up Lightning Bolt. And then, Susano, I'm going to go ahead and give you something. More HP. And then we're going to run Dave, Susano, and Antelos and see if... Or, no, no, no. No, I have to have Larry. What am I talking about? Dave, Larry, and Antelos. Or maybe Larry up front? I think Larry up front. Okay, let's try this. Let's see if this works better. Larry, Dave, Antelos. So I've got two fire resist boys. Alright, we gotta poison you fast. Getting that poison in early is gonna be the most important. Because poison is broken. And then lightning bolt is gonna be my main damage dealer, I guess, because magic. That created okay, yeah, it's good damage. This could work. Also, Antelos has that ability that makes him start with the stun debuff, which is really useful. Oh wow, spectral Oh my word, that is so strong. All right, keeping, keeping Larry alive is most important because he can heal. So if Dave goes down after getting all these poison hits off, then that's just how it is. Because level three poison is really all that matters. From here on, I can just, I don't care about my rating on this either. I just want to win. So I got to have that level three poison. That's like my best damage dealer. Larry, stay in there, buddy. This guy's level three. He's really tough. All right, no, I'm going to lose. With Larry gone already, it's... Oh, yeah, and I lost him. It's super over. I think this enemy is too strong. I'd have to level grind for it. Which, uh... Yeah, someone just put in uptime. It's already two hours and 40 minutes. I'm not going to stream for too much longer. So, we are not going to be, uh... We're not going to be beating this guy. Yeah, he's way too strong. All right. Well, I know where he is, at least. I don't plan on streaming this game again until it actually comes out, because I just wanted to do the one demo run. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. But that's fine. Let's go to the Infinity Arena and see what's happening there. And then I'll probably go ahead and wrap up for today a tad early. Haven't been a ton of viewers in today's stream anyways. I guess a lot of people weren't interested in the game. That's fine. I just wanted to stream it for my own fun anyways. There's a chest right there. How do I get to that? So I don't think it'll be a big deal if I wrap up a tad earlier than normal. I don't know how to get down there, but I also wasn't up here before. Boom, K plus two. Oh, okay. This takes me back out of the mountain path. I see. That's cool. Dude, this game is sick. And I can't wait for it to actually release. Almost made it up there. I don't think there's anything up there anyway. This is going to be a lot of fun to do a playthrough of when it uh, releases. And then when it releases, I'll actually, like, do level grinding between sessions. So, like, normally, if this game was fully released and I was going to keep playing it after this demo, then I would, uh, in between this stream and next one, I would level grind up 
Oh my goodness, something in my throat. I'd level up, I would level grind up high enough to be able to defeat the uh, Spectre dude, but I'm obviously not going to do that because I don't plan on streaming this again. Although it is a really good game, don't get me wrong. It's just like, it's a demo and I'm done playing the demo. Stealing this, thank you. Talk to everyone. Utilizing the combo system properly is key to get a good rating in combat. Do you need a reminder how it works? Nah, I'm almost done with the game. I think the most important thing is a monster keeper is finding the right diet for all your monsters. That's fair. I haven't been using the food stuff at all. That probably would have helped me with the Spectre Boy. Important thing to remember for when the game releases. Hello. Always think about having enough supplies. You never know what kind of dark times might be ahead of us. Fair. Alright, well. This has been fantastic. Like I said, we're going to go see what's up with the Infinity Arena really quick, and then I'm going to wrap up. We'll be ending a little earlier than normal, but that's fine. Gonna be plenty of streams over the weekend. Assuming I don't get sick again randomly, then we'll have a lot of streams in the next couple of days, because I'll stream Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'll just stream straight until... until uh, this says I should be able to go higher, judging by the way the map is made, but it doesn't look like it. To be honest, I really want to play this game. It looks like a lot of fun. I hope that they uh, get it released like mid-2019. This is the Infinity Arena. You need to be a Keeper Novice. I am a Keeper Novice. Thank you. This is the Infinity Arena. You'll be matched up against random monsters. If you beat them, you'll be matched up against higher level monsters. You continue to until you lose or give up. The challenge is to reach the highest level possible with your team. Also, all monsters in the Infinity Arena receive a buff that increases their damage every turn, so the battles don't get dragged out for too long. Oh, dear. Yeah, let's try. This seems like a really cool thing. Okay, so... I obviously want Antelos in the back here. Let's go with Dave. Dave, and then uh, my boy Larry, and then Antelos. Okay. You're weak to Earth, so let's just hit you up with this poison early. And then I'm gonna keep the poison going to hopefully kill you quickly. Try to play the game, but I have a MacBook Air. Ah, yeah. That's Mac for you. I'm gonna hit you hard so I can kill you next turn, for sure. Beautiful damage. Not power level two, oh no. That's actually a good buff. Spore level two is gonna hurt, but thankfully you hit my shield boy. Ice Storm is also really gonna hurt. That hits everyone. Oh my word, it almost one shot burn. Antelos. That is crazy heavy damage. Note to self in the future, kill those things immediately before they can ever even attack. All right, get some poison on other poison boy back there. Okay, good, you can poison him. I was act actually wasn't sure if it would let me poison him or not. Goodbye to you before you can hit me with ice ever again. Hopefully he doesn't hit... What on earth was that? Did my Google Home just go off? That terrified me. <laughs> no, my bird, I needed to explosion you. I actually just had a mini heart attack. My Google Home went off in the corner. I don't know what I said to make it go off, though. That was weird. All right, this is going to take a little while because this guy is, like, incredibly bulky. Should kill him next turn, though. Oh, that's bad. Don't poison me. No! I've been poisoned. I've gotten the level 4 chain thing, though. All right. Uh, this should kill you. It'll definitely kill you with poison. What am I talking about? Oh, that crit will probably do it. Yep, goodbye. We've done it, boys. Easy victory. Two stars, that's bad. Enemy level increases by two. Oh, I haven't seen a Yowie in a while. Two fire weaknesses, one water weakness. Then we're going to lead Larry and then go Susano and Antelos. All right, this is really cool, actually, that this exists in the game. This is awesome. Especially if... Am I getting experience from it? I can't tell. Guardians an explosion, exactly. All right, acid rain on you. Nice. Uh, let's just go flame strike and hit everyone up for some damage. Decent, decent. And then explosion on you for a ton so I can kill you next turn. Yeah, he's super dead next turn. Now I just have to be worried about them hitting me for a lot. No, don't shield them all, you nerd. All these buffs. That's gonna hurt. I was right, that hurt a lot. Alright, that's fine though. Uh, with my attack up, let's acid rain you again. Honestly, it's probably still better to just inflict poison, but whatever. Really upset that I'm not going to get a kill. You know what? Do this. 
this thing's got to go down soon. Get that poison on it. I can't stack poison because I don't have Dave here. And then kill you with explosion before you can do anything else. So there goes that. Now I just need to get the worm out of here and then I can take care of the Yaoi. He has ice hail. That's really scary, actually. Don't hit slime. Okay, good. Slime boy is good. All right, arcane bolt. I really would like you to die this turn, but uh, you're going to die to poison. Never mind. I was about to say it doesn't look like you will, but you'll die to poison. Perfect. And I can go ahead and hit you up with an explosion, get rid of that shield, and do some good damage. And I doubt you, even with the level 3 thing, I doubt you can kill... Uh, you lived! No! Oh, it's because I only have one level of poison. Right. Slime, no! Oh, that was close. Thank goodness you lived. Okay, kill him. He's got to go. No more that. Good. And an explosion for a ton of damage. I don't think you can kill both of my monsters this turn. And if I get one more attack... No, you healed! No! I might not, I might need them both alive. And they're not. Alright, this is going to come close. This is going to come down to the wire. Because this isn't going to kill. I just have to live one hit. Don't use the ice move, please. How do you keep healing so much? He's got to have some crazy good buff. Live? Oh, I lived it easily. Does this... Uh, it does kill. Alright, well... I don't think we're going to make it through the third round. But we can try. Am I getting experience out of this? I don't think so. Oh, a specter is here. I'm super dead. A specter and two blobs. Okay. Uh, Larry, Dave. Put Dave up front. Dave, Larry, Antelos. All right. We're going to poison the heck out of these slimes and get them out of here as fast as we can. There we go. And then, uh... I'm gonna lightning blast you, because you gotta go. Thank goodness we got this static effect on you. That's really useful. He's not a champion, so he shouldn't be as much of a problem. No, don't heal! Well, at least I got him to heal on the Spectre instead of himself, since I got him first. I figured that these guys would basically be, like, healing buffs for Spectre Boy. And Spectre Boy, oh my word, he does so much damage. I gotta get these slimes out of here ASAP. I think you're gonna die to the three poison. I'm pretty sure. So with that in mind, I want to hit this other slime and get it low. There we go. Please die to three poison. Please? Oh, I'm so screwed. That really sucks. I really thought he would die there. Should have just attacked him, but too little too late. Thank you for hitting bird. He's got good HP right now. Please don't kill anyone. Well, there goes slime. Yep, we're gonna lose here. These guys are too strong. They're like level 13, though, so, you know, what do you expect, really? Easy poison hit. Uh, Just kill this one, whatever. I should have hit it the turn before. I might have actually had a chance, but whatever. Too little, too late. This Spectre dude is too strong. Spectre is broken, plus nerf. Granted, I always fight him in situations where he's really strong. Yeah, I'm super dead. Kill you, though, before I go. And now the Spectre will miss, and then I'll get an Oko hit on him next turn. I lived. I lived even through the burn. What madness is this? Five crits. Go. Well, it was worth a shot. It's been real. All right, that's fun. Congratulations, you reached level 13 in the Infinity Arena. Oh, cool. It gives you a level 15 badge for... That'll level things up lower than 15. That's cool. All right. So you, I figured you'd get some kind of rewards from it. All right, that is really sick. That's also a really good thing to have in the game. I love it. All right, guys. I think we're going to wrap up here for today. Look at all those teleports. Yeah, it looks like I've covered most, if not everything. I didn't think I'd hit every single spot in the game, in the demo, but... Hey, it's pretty good. I'm ending a tiny bit earlier than normal, but I think that's okay. There's not... I don't really think there's anything crazy else to see in this game. But uh, that's a pretty good demo. A demo that spans almost three hours, and I still didn't hit, like, literally every nook and cranny. And, you know, you can level grind a bit to keep going through that Infinity Arena if you want, or to go beat the purple champion. So that's, like, a lot of uh, cool stuff to be able to do. It's a really good demo. The game looks fantastic. So uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, there will be a link to its Kickstarter in the description. It's already been funded, but there are more stretch goals, and I think one of the stretch goals left 
is uh, that they haven't hit yet is to have 100 plus monsters in the game. Right now, they've hit a stretch goal to have 80 plus monsters. So, if they can hit that other stretch goal, that's another 20 monsters in the game, which would be really sick. And I think online multiplayer versus stuff is another stretch goal that hasn't been hit yet. So, I would highly recommend, if you like the game at all, if, you, if it looks interesting, go back it even just to, just back it enough to get a copy of the game. So you basically buy it for cheap before it comes out. And that way you get it when it comes out and hopefully those stretch goals can be hit. But it's a very fun game. I'm really glad that uh, the developer sent me uh, an email about it asking if I'd check it out. Because it's a lot of fun. So whenever it comes out, I will be sure to play it. And I hope you guys will be around to watch it when that happens. Because it'll be a full playthrough and I'll probably stream it and it'll all be put on YouTube and etc. But yeah, I think that's everything. Again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Until then, farewell. Thanks to everyone in chat who came. That was just my YouTube outro, but... I will be streaming Pokemon Coliseum tomorrow at 2 CST, and then Persona 5 Sunday at 2 CST. It'll be a lot of fun. I don't know what I'm going to stream on Monday. It'll either be Mario Kart or Hyrule Warriors, and then I'm going to be streaming... Uh, I'm going to be streaming Hitman Tuesday, and then Wednesday is Persona 5 again. So, lots of streams in the next couple of days. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks to everyone who came out to this stream. I wasn't sure if it would uh, interest people or not. It doesn't seem like it interested a lot of my viewers, but that's fine. I still enjoyed it, and it was just a one-off thing anyway. So, yeah, that will be all for today. Again, thank you all so much for coming out. A special thanks to Darkfang for subscribing. And also, remember, guys, especially even if you're not a huge fan of Coliseum or Persona 5, I recommend dropping in to one or both of the streams tomorrow on Sunday because I'm going to be, I don't know exactly what time I will be, but I will be talking to the viewers because those are the games I stream that get the most viewers, so it seems the best time to do it. I will be talking to viewers about what to do for emotes and sub badges. So uh, if you want to have any input on that, try and drop by tomorrow or Sunday to uh, get a word in if you want. But uh, yeah, I think that's everything. So again, thank you all so much for coming out and I will see you hopefully tomorrow, if not then, then another stream. And until then, Farewell.